Hey everybody, it's time to go live tonight on our weekly case break. We're doing 2019 tops, uh, two five box breaks, break I and break J. And then after that, we're doing 2018 tops archives and looking for some autographs in there, two autographs per box, also Sandlot cards. And then that'll be it for this week. Next week, I'm not sure what I'm going to put up for the break, uh, but I know the week after that, it looks like Gypsy Queen, which is coming out. I already ordered a case of Gypsy Queen for 2019, so that'll be a future break in a little while. It took me a little while to get uh, all set up for this one. I had to run out to um, the FedEx Distribution Center, which is like 30 minutes away to pick up these cases uh, because they had to be signed for, so might as well get this started. What's up, Garrett? Uh, w. Vogs, the Sandlot cards have already been purchased. Those are going to John. He uh, bought them. All right, first box. Here we go. 2019 tops. We've done this um, a few times now. We're on break I. Thanks, IB Mr. E. I always try to get the uh, new releases whenever they come out, and 2019 Tops opening day came out today. So I stopped off at the store and bought one at Steel City. Shout out to you, Justin Kelly. Happy birthday. How old are you? Hope you're having a nice day. It was nice weather-wise here, at least in Pennsylvania. All right, let's see what we get here. Now, we've already seen these cards plenty of times. So um, for those of you that are new and haven't seen these before, these are 2019 tops. They have 150th anniversary stamps, uh, gold stamp logos on some of them. Those aren't numbered or anything like that, so they're not like super special or anything like that. Hey, Billy the Kid, how's it going, pal? All right, next pack. Uh, hey, everybody, T-shirts. Um, that's not a bad idea. YouTube keeps trying to get me. I think this is a Joey Gallo short print or photo variation. Um, you can see the numbers down there. Tell, I, I can't even see that. It looks like an 67. Definitely is a uh, short print. Haven't even seen that card before. I feel like I know Topps 2019, but like the back of my hand. But yeah, my wife was just saying I should start having shirts done because YouTube keeps asking me to make merch. They keep trying to get me to, uh, there's Will Clark 1984, do merchandise. Um, pretty busy though to think about that kind of stuff, but maybe one of these days. Tim Shea, you just got done golfing there? That's pretty awesome. Where are you from, Tim? You are awful close to me. Luis Severino. Yeah, we're giving away the Benatendi autograph tonight. There's an Eduardo Nunez that is numbered out of 2019, 1278. Yeah, the $5 for a George Brett rookie card was a great deal. I've been holding out for that card for a while. Um, I was thinking that I was going, this is a really, really thick pack. This is probably going to be our hit. It's going to be a relic. Um, let's see here. Well, maybe not. It felt like there's a couple extra cards in there. Got faked out there. But yeah, we're giving away the Ben Attendi Rookie. Tonight at the end of the channel. There's a Marcus Semyon. Little Poppy, 92 subs, nice. Oh, you're very close to me then. There's our first Super Chat. Eric Malstead, who is in a few of these breaks. I know he has the Pirates um, on at least a couple times. But thank you very much for that $2 Super Chat. I really appreciate it. And um, Justin, it is $7.54, I think, according to the uh, stove over here. But I'm not sure if that's accurate or not. And Tim Shea, you are only five minutes away from me then. That's pretty cool. You might have to... Uh, playing our Wiffle Ball Wednesday series. Can you announce the giveaway in the middle of the stream? I was probably going to do it at the end of the stream just because that's when I usually do the giveaways. So I don't want people to tune in and miss out. There's the New York Yankees. I mean, if you, if you miss the uh, giveaway, this stream will stay up. 
so you can watch the end of it tomorrow if you missed it. The giveaways from the boom box. Also, I have to do a Patreon giveaway of one of those boxes from February. Joe iPhone Services said he'll be back sometime this week. Okay. So far, no hits. We've only opened about, I don't know, 10 packs of 2019 tops. I did opening day earlier just to do a preview and just kind of get a feel for it. There's a 1984 Steve Carlton. We'll be doing 1984 tops, the real 1984 tops tomorrow, authenticated sealed box, looking for a Don Mattingly rookie card. Daryl Strawberry rookie card is also in that set. So hoping for some good stuff there. There's the newest Diamondback, Adam Jones. How do you enter the giveaway? All you have to do is be a subscriber, so you have to have clicked that subscribe button at some point, 2007, and then leave a comment on my Boombox giveaway. A $5 super chat from Tim Shea. It says, just to say thanks for all you do. Thank you very much, Tim. Um, Tim is basically my neighbor. Um, so I really appreciate that $5 super chat. Everyone check out Tim's um, channel and give him a sub. I like the 84 Don Mattingly rookie a lot. That's um, one of my favorites. I, I have his I have his 84 tops and I have his 84 Fleer. I do not have his um, 84 Don Russ. Oh, there's the uh, dogs uh, crying again. We have a five dollar super chat from Kevin Cochran. Kevin, thank you very much. I really appreciate the five dollar super chat again, everybody. Whenever someone gives a super chat, make sure you check out their channel and support them for supporting me. Um, give them a sub. I mean, even if they don't have any content, it doesn't cost you anything to uh, hit that subscribe button for people. So, thank you very much. All right, next pack. Thank you very much, Kevin. Really appreciate it. Tomorrow should be a fun day with the 84 Tops authenticated box. I really hope we get a, a really good authenticated box to show you a Tawny 1984 design. The 85 Tops authenticated box was kind of almost a complete dud except for the Maguire, even though the Maguire was a little off center. The 81 Don Ross authenticated box was literally the worst box I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, I'd rather open a box out of a trash can in the back of a flea market. And it'd be better than that one that I got. Ryan just received his Patreon and Tops Case Break H in the mail today. Glad to hear it, Ryan. Thank you for your support. There's a $1.99 from Chris Mania. It says, I emailed you about a Gary Sanchez card. Thank you very much for that $1.99. I will have to go through my emails and check uh, because I do get a lot of emails um, per day, so I'll have to make sure I go look for that. And we have our first hit. It's a Twins hit. Uh, who do you guys think? I'm guessing, I don't know. Is it Buxton, maybe? No, Joe Maurer. That's a pretty good one. Joe Maurer is our first hit. The recently retired Joe Maurer, and it's a Bat Relic, which is way better. Um, I'd rather have a Bat Relic than a Jersey Relic. They're much cooler to me. Joe Maurer, a lot of people that are Twins fans think he's a future Hall of Famer. I think he might fall a little bit short of that, but he still is an amazing uh, player, or was an amazing player, had an amazing career. I should put that in our hit pile so it doesn't get mixed in. Uh, what's my predictions on the NL East? That's a good question, Naftali. I can tell you one thing for sure. Marlins will be in last place. And it's going to be an all-out fight between the other four teams. Phillies, Braves, Nationals, of course, and Mets. I don't know if I like the Braves to repeat, though. I don't know if the Braves have done enough. And Mike Fultonavich is having a, an issue with his elbow. I mean, he's their top starter, so 688, Carlos Correa. If someone comments 100 times, do they have a 100 times better chance? Um, I'm going to look around a little bit and see if I can find a website that does unique users. So that way everyone has the uh, same chance, like one out of um, however many unique commenters of their works. I think there was like 1,200 comments, but 
a lot of those are probably the same person saying multiple comments. So there might have only been like 400 unique commenters in that boom box. Joe, how's it going? Max, to enter that giveaway for the autographed Andrew Benintendi rookie card that's going to be coming up here at the end of this break, all you have to do is make sure you hit that subscribe button, like my boombox video, and leave a comment on it. Patrick, I have never bet on baseball, believe it or not. There's a nice Miguel Andujar numbered out of 50 with the blue border. I've never bet on baseball. Um, I know that gambling is coming to lots of casinos near me, so I, I don't know if that's something I would want to promote on my channel since a lot of kids do watch my channel. Um, gambling is not a good thing. I mean, it can be fun if you're responsible. Salvador Perez, gold out of 2019. But there's been a lot of people that lost too much money Jared, I, too, am looking forward towards the archives break. There's two on-card autos per box, and a lot of times they're older players. That's right, Zach. It is legal in Pittsburgh, gambling. I think they are installing a bunch of video boards at the um, Rivers Casino, which is just a few blocks down the road from PNC Park. They're also putting in a casino out here by me at the uh, Westmoreland Mall. And Michael points out that PAX is kind of like gambling. Uh, yeah, basically, you never know what you're going to get. It's kind of like buying a lottery ticket. Some packs are complete duds. Some packs are not. So that's our first box. Our hit out of there was a Joe Maurer Bat Relic. Box one out of five is in the books. By the way, that bat relic is going to go to Nate P. Congratulations, Nate. All right, next box. Shout out to you, AB. I said AB, not Amy. All right, here is our next box. Just took out all the packs. How much was the spot in this break? I can't really remember, to be honest with you. I think the cheapest one might have been $10. Um, oh, we have our hit. It's an autograph, David Cohn. First pack mojo, David Cohn. Going to our Yankees owner, and it's also numbered. Um, it's a 150th... Um, Anniversary card, and that one is numbered out of 150 right there. 84 of 150 going. The Yankees were the first team off the board for this break, and they're going to James S. Congratulations, James. That's a nice Dave Cone. Put that aside. So, first hit done. So, that means the rest of these packs likely do not have a hit, which kind of um, ruins the suspense a little bit. By the way, there's my brother. It says the pass is alive. That's a nice one. Was just watching the clip tonight when Pedro Guerrero whipped the bat at Cone and chaos erupted. Good old Pedro Guerrero. I remember my brother used to uh, really like Pedro Guerrero for a while. I was never a huge Pedro Guerrero fan. 1981 Tops is Guerrero's rookie card. By the way, my brother has a case break that he'd like to get going pretty soon. He's got 11 teams left. He's doing a 20-box break of cards from the 80s and 90s in their wax boxes. Um, details are on his channel, so if you go to The Pass is Alive and check it out. You're going to get a lot of cards, that's for sure. 20 boxes. Back then, all the packs had 15 to 17 cards in them. Times 20 or 36 packs per box. You're going to get about at least 400 cards per team. So that should be fun to watch. So I hope if you're uh, looking something to do, you'll buy into his break so he can do that. He said he might do it tomorrow if it sells out. And he was also thinking about doing a special raffle. I don't know um, if he's still going to do that or not. He'll probably put details in there. I don't want to say what it is. Um, just to reward everyone in his first ever break. I still remember my first ever break back in October. I did 2016 Optic. There's a Wade Boggs 83 Tops rookie card reprint. Very cool. 
It looks like we have uh, Bone CK received a letter and cards I sent as a thank you. Um, no, thank you, Bone CK. That was really, really nice of you. Um, today's Wiffle Ball Wednesday. Yeah, it would be if the season had started. Really what we'll do for Wiffle Ball Wednesday is we'll probably play the games on Saturday or Sunday, and then that'll give me a few days to upload them and edit the videos and everything because I'd like to have multiple camera angles and stuff. So it'll probably take me like three days to do that. And then I'll upload on Wednesdays. And uh, that'll be Wiffle Ball Wednesdays. We'll probably do that hopefully all summer long. Uh, by the way, my brother said he's giving away an Eddie Murray, Tony Gwynn, and Barry Bonds rookie cards. For everyone that buys into his break, he's going to raffle off those cards. That's a pretty good deal there. Eddie Murray rookie cards, 1978. And I think it books for 80 bucks. Tony Gwynn rookie cards, 83 tops. And uh, Barry Bonds is 87 tops, or it might be an, an 86 update. So check out my brother's uh, channel. He said he's doing it whether it sells out or not. So tomorrow for Throwback Thursday, my brother's going to be throwing it back to the 80s. If it says declined. Yeah, don't put them if they're declined. I'm just having my wife type up a, a list of all my Patreon patrons and uh, for the break because I lost about an hour of uh, prep time tonight because I had to drive and get these um, cards. Oh, it was in like a super secret location. Like I thought that the um, GPS was way off because it was like in the middle of a field. And then all of a sudden I saw this barbed wire, this big high fence with barbed wire all around. There was like no way into the building because I had to go to the distribution center. And I was like, crap. What am I going to do? Like, how am I going to get this, uh, the case break and everything? So eventually I walked around the barbed wire and found a little like turnstile of the ones like super max. It was like a super max prison it seemed like. And there was like a camera there with a little button. So I hit the button and they let me in and I had to go and sit there while they found the uh, cases that I bought. By the way, I bought these from Diamond Cards out in Illinois. Uh, Tim Shea, my email is thejabsfam, all one word, at gmail.com. T-H-E-J-A-B-S-F-A-M. That's probably the best spot to email me. Uh, because if you email my other one, it's linked to my YouTube. It just totally gets buried in all of the um, PayPal receipts. And like every time I print something for eBay, I get a receipt for the shipping label and it gets buried. There's a Corey Kluber, rainbow parallel there. What's the break for next week? That's a good question. I'm thinking about maybe doing Tops opening day. I got to see if... Um, if I can get a case off of diamond cards for opening day. If you guys want to do opening day, I mean, the thing about opening day is there's, like, literally hardly any autographs in there at all. Yep, his name is Sean, diamond cards guy. I've never met him in person, but I I have a Facebook, and the only reason I have a Facebook is to uh, get in contact with him. I, I literally have, like, one follower. I only made it so I could contact Sean from diamond cards and talk business a little bit. Naftali, can we do some high end? There is um, Tops Inception coming out next week. I was thinking about maybe doing that. That's pretty high end. So I think it's like $1,000 for a case for 16 boxes. And inside each box, there's only seven cards. And I think one of those cards is an autograph. JB Sports Cards has... A P.O. box down. That's pretty cool. So you're thinking, yeah, maybe um, opening day, low end, and then something high end. I really want to do Topps Archive Signature Series, but it seems like all of the um, companies have raised all of their cases up a few hundred dollars on those, at least from what I paid back when I opened them a month or two ago. Inception's a good product. Yep. I'm thinking about it. I have to... I'm trying to decide if I want to sell it by the box since you would only get seven cards or sell it by the team. Just put whatever it says there then. We'll figure it out. 
if they win. So Chris Bryant, Cubs, 84 design. Now we have a Clayton Kershaw 2008 Topps Update Rookie Card. Of course, this is not real. It's one of those reprints. Triple Threads probably comes out, I want to say, in September or October. I think it comes near the end of the baseball season. Cool, man. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. You got some Fairfield boxes. There's a Russell Martin. Hope you got something good in those Fairfield boxes. I always hear people... Um, Getting the uh, Harper rookie card out of those. It's been become actually pretty common. I've seen a lot of people get Harper rookies out of there. And I've heard that um, Mike Trout 2011 update has been pulled out of some of them. Somebody just asked if Silver Packs come with this, and yes, they do. I've got them all right here. Um, if I get Silver Packs, I put them in for free. So those will go to uh, whoever bought in the breaks. We'll probably do those at the end here. We'll do them all at once. Well, at the end of um, break, what is this? We're on like break I now. So we're doing five boxes. This is box number three of five for this break. And then I'll open up your um, five silver packs. What's my biggest donation? The biggest donation I ever got was $100. Uh, Kelly did $100. And William S. did $100. So there's two $100 donations in the, uh, in the lifetime of this channel. Adam, I think my brother's break is going to be pretty epic. He can tell lots of different stories about all the cards. Probably share some stories from uh, our childhood. Like, for example, if I said... 1991 Topps Mel Hall. My brother would immediately know what I'm talking about. There's a big story behind that card. Have I ever done triple threads? Yep, I've done triple threads. Um, I did triple head, triple threads back when the cases were 1,700, but now they're like 2,200. So I'm not paying an extra $500 to uh, pass on to you guys. But, like, that, I don't really understand that. I would have to pass on the. Uh, extra money on on you guys i don't want to do that mike trout short print it's a uh, all-star um red carpet picture those are actually pretty rare all right this is box three so we're looking for our autograph or our relic i'm hoping it's an autograph more than a relic i mean the relics are cool and everything but i'd, I'd rather oh, there's a nice Derek Jeter. too bad that's not an autograph can you and your brother do a break together sometime? Yeah, that would that's probably a good idea. Um, I never got $500 from one person um, in any... Oh, that's a nice black parallel out of 67. I think the most I ever got all together for Super Chats was like I don't know, 300 which is really nice. I think that was back in January when my channel was like really struggling for ad revenue. Like January is just an awful month for ad revenue on YouTube. There's a dollar ninety-nine from John. Thank you, John. John A, one of my Patreon patrons. He's going to be in the um, raffle here at the end of the live stream for a box over there of 2015 Don Russ or 2016 Don Russ. John also has the Sandlot for Topps Archives. I think he's probably going to get an autograph out of that case. Last time I did Archives, we got an autograph. I can't remember who it was, though, but we definitely got an autograph from the Sandlot. And those Sandlot autographs, they go for a lot on eBay. There's some going for like 70, 80 bucks on eBay. So those cards definitely are in demand. Benny the Jet Rodriguez and players like that. What's my favorite box to open? I like the uh, Archive Signature Series boxes because I like guessing the card by only seeing a little bit of the card. And also, um, it's, they're just so much easier for me to uh, process because it's only one card per box instead of like 500 cards per box, which take forever to sort and everything. Los Angeles Dodgers. Oh, Derek Jeter, 1993 tops reprint.
Yosef Miller, you're 11 years old, and what else does your comment say? And you're the only one that likes cards. Can you give me any advice for getting your friends into cards? That is, I don't know, that's kind of a tough question, I guess. Um, you're just going to have to get them to open a pack, and then, like, if they pull a good card, uh, make a big deal about it and say how awesome it was. That's how you got to get hooked. You can't just tell them about it. They have to actually experience it for themselves. Yeah, Sparrow. Sorting is literally the worst thing about the breaks. It takes forever. Then after you sort them all out by team, then you have to go through again and look for short prints and variations and rookie cards, like top rookie cards, numbered cards. you got to sleeve all those all up before you can even team bag them. Then you team bag them all up, and then you have to put them all in order so you can find them when you go to uh, package them up. And then packaging them takes another just, like, long, long time. Yeah, there's also the money factor. Like, you can um, show them cards that are worth more money. That's what my wife said. Flaherty, 150. Try some TTM through the mails and brag about your autographs. That's not a bad idea. Where did you and Mrs. Jabs go on your first date? We went to a park. You remember that? Shenley Park? Yeah. We went to Forbes Field first. Forbes Field and uh, Shenley Park. There's a Justice Sheffield. They updated that image, by the way. He's now in his Mariners uniform in opening day. I kind of like that about opening day, how all of the uh, players were updated. Matthew Garza said, I'm going to be a dad. Can you tell me how it is? I'm nervous. You don't have anything to be nervous about. Um, the hardest part for you is probably just going to be getting sleep the first. Oh, here's our relic. Corey Seager. Corey Seager jersey relic. Our second hit going to our Dodgers owner. That's Sean P. Congratulations, Sean. Seager was uh, hurt last year, but... Hopefully he's going to be back to full strength this year and back to his uh, all-star form. Hype is here. Collectible says run. Yep, it's um, the first um, first year. It's, you know, a lot of... Can't really play too much with them, but once they get to be, like... What would you say the best age for the kids has been? Five? five or six. How do you get cards graded? You got to send them in the PSA. When they're babies, sleep when they sleep. My wife says, when they're babies, sleep when they sleep. Is that why you get sleep? How do I feel about the new card designs? I don't, I don't love them, but I don't hate them. I would say I'm lukewarm on them. Are you breaking archives next? Yep, we're breaking archives next. There's Anthony Rizzo, 84. Mess of things says it's too late for running away. Shoyotani. Tom A says kids start out sweet and innocent but grow into monsters. Oh boy. What age does that happen, Tom? If I had to guess, I would say 12. Just from like my experiences with uh, middle school kids, you mean puberty? I'd say twelve is the uh, monster year. Oh, yeah. Are these personal cases for me? I, I I bought these cases for you guys. Your daughter started out a monster. Says Striker Bear. Tom says five years old. Bullman says he's 12. I'm, well, not all 12-year-olds are bad, Bullman. I'm just talking about, like, maturity level, like, from a teacher standpoint. I'm sure a lot of you guys that are 12 that are watching right now are pretty awesome. But if you look around your grade and you're 11 or 12, there's some people out there or some kids out there that can be a little immature. 
There's a Josh Donaldson. I believe that's a short print. Middle school was the worst. Try teaching middle school. I had to do it a couple years. Um, I only had like one class here and there. Yeah. I mean, I had a lot of fun when I was when I was 12. Those were probably some of the funnest years of my life when I was like 12. I had a blast playing baseball all the time and wiffle ball and opening cards and going to the card shop and all that stuff. All right, let's see. Next box is box four of five. Kyle, yeah, you can buy cards for me. I do have an eBay store. Takes me about two weeks to ship stuff back, though. So I have a 10 day, 10 business day handling time on everything just because of the brakes really slow everything down. But you can check it out. I've got some cards in my eBay store. Does Olivia play softball? She, play, she played one year. She didn't play last year. And I hope we didn't miss the signups. Did you hear anything about softball signups? I have to look into the softball signups. Um, back when she played softball, I used to record her games and make videos and stuff. One of her softball game videos got like six hundred thousand or five hundred thousand views. You said she threw up. She did throw up. She threw up. Um, but everybody was watching to watch her. Yeah, I didn't obviously show that. But they thought you were. <laughs> have you seen Don Russ at any retail stores? Yep, there is um, a store here, at SCG, and they sell their Don Russ boxes for eighty-five dollars each. Um, which is overpriced. Still City Collectibles has them up there for 68 bucks, 62 or 68. Uh, if you go to any local card shop, they'll likely have it because that's a uh, pretty mainstream release. I picked up my opening day box. It's Still City Collectibles today on the way home. Wayne, yes, this is a buy-in case break. All these, these people on the list to my right bought these uh, spots up. Here's a Carl Seeger vintage stock card. Matthew asked, do I watch any other sports? Nope, I do not. John says, Olivia should play wiffle ball with me. That's not a bad idea. She's not a bad wiffle ball player. Jose Abreu, gold card, numbered out of 2019, 1581. Am I getting a Leaf Valiant yesterday? I haven't really given much thought to uh, Leaf Valiant. Wayne, I list my breaks on eBay on Saturdays. Your baseball card store doesn't carry Don Russ. That kind of stinks. You can always order it online. There's a nice Mike Trout rookie card for Bowman. Um, obviously not real. Wish it was real. It's just a throwback. That's pretty cool. W. Voggs is back. Welcome back, W. Voggs. And by the way, congratulations on hitting 100 subs. Have I found um, Don Ross at Walmart? Usually, um, Walmart doesn't get their cards until a couple days after the release date, so usually like Fridays. Um, Stryker said he just bought Gypsy Queen. I also bought my pre-sale Gypsy Queen yesterday. Wanted to make sure I got my case of Gypsy Queen. That comes out, I want to say, when does that come out? The 27th? So I'll probably do it the week afterwards. There's a 2005 Chris Bryant reprint. I haven't been to Walmart recently to see if they have opening day out. I would imagine they don't. Probably will not be out until Friday, at least around here. That seems to be the pattern. After looking for 2019, oh, we have a hit. It's a Yuan Moncada Major League Material Relic. And that actually is our fourth hit. Kind of lost track how many boxes we've done. Oh, this is our fourth box, all right. Fourth hit in four boxes. I got excited there for a second and thought we got two hits in the same box, but it didn't happen. Yuan Moncada from the White Sox uh, strikes out a ton. Uh, that's one part of his game he really needs to cut down on is the strikeouts. Strikes out like one every like three at bats on average. That one's going to Brandon S. Congratulations, Brandon. We still have those silver packs to do. All 
right, next we have, um, let's see, anyone good in this pack? There's a Rainbow Tyler Flowers. Andrew Benintendi, we're giving away his um, rookie card that's autographed. Thank you very much, a mess of things. What's refreshing? Your Patreon keeps refreshing. Please? Oh, that's annoying. Just hit stop. Jordan Hicks. It's a gold card, 1968. Yeah, it's really a shame that Target and Walmart are late with the card releases. Wish they would be up to uh, date. Brody says that you and your dad are watching. That's pretty cool. Thank you guys for watching. Who won the Benny autograph? Nobody yet. That's going to be at the end of this break. I'll just take my computer and um, choose a random commenter. How was the fantasy draft last night? It was a pretty long draft. But um, we did Casual League last night. I took Mookie Betts with my first pick last night and Mike Trout with my first pick on Monday night. I actually got into the break late on Monday night. I was planning on recording the whole thing, but my computer is like all being stupid and like lock, it was like locked up, so I had to restart it and it took forever to restart. And by that time, I had totally missed the first pick. Um, but it, So I auto-drafted Mike Trout. Jacob DeGrom, 84 tops. PNC Park, gold card. Wade Boggs. Where's Joe iPhone? I don't know. I haven't seen Joe iPhone. He's probably busy. Auto draft trout, what a shame. I got lucky for that. That's a good thing about auto draft. It just automatically picks the uh, best available player. But sometimes you get you get um, the short end of the stick with that kind of stuff because I had the um, turnaround pick in the draft on Monday. So like I would get a draft pick and then right after that I would get another pick. And kind of actually cost me on a couple instances because you only had 30 seconds to pick. So like my computer was, I don't know, it was like being really slow. And I was trying to like look for a certain position and I ran out of time, even though I thought I'd click the draft button on somebody and I ended up getting Lance McCullers Jr. in one of the rounds. And of course, Lance McCullers Jr. is out for the season with Tommy John. So I immediately dropped him. I'm not going to trade them. I'm not going to trade Mike Trout unless you would have to blow me away if you're in the Fantasy League. I would need, like, Mookie Betts and somebody else. Like Mookie Betts and Scherzer or somebody like that. Tops Bunt. That's a um, entry-level set. It's pretty cheap. Kind of like Tops Opening Day. All right, that's it for the fourth box. We're on to box number five, which is the last box for break I. And then I'll open up the silver packs. Hey, Todd the Kid, how's it going? Box number five. Where do you post your breaks? Like, how do you enter them? I post them on eBay on Saturday nights. And if you are a Patreon patron, um, you will get a notification and you'll get access to them first. Because so I post them on Patreon first. Usually give uh, my Patreon patrons a little bit of a notice. Just as a, uh, a perk for supporting me on Patreon. That's... Um, one of the perks I do, and also I send them cards every month. Right now, I think I have 125 Patreon patrons. 
What's my name on my eBay channel? It says 357MAGA. Um, just check some of my uh, older YouTube videos from the past week or two, and my YouTube channel is, or my eBay channel is usually linked there. Usually put a couple links. Terrence was cleaning out a house a few days ago and found a binder with 200 rookie cards. You're not a collector. And I'll tell you what, you can either um, go to eBay and look up recently sold, or if you want to send me a picture, um, take a picture of each each page and send it in like medium resolution or something like that so you can email it. And uh, email it to me at thejabsfam at gmail.com and I will let you know what you got. You can easily look at the back of the cards and you can see what year they are to do that. Like if you look at the back of these 2019, the most recent year is 2018. So like on the back of your card, if it says like 1990 is the last year, that would mean you have a 1991 card. If you have cards from the 80s or 90s or early 2000s, it's probably not worth much at all. But if you have cards from the 70s, 60s or 50s, you might have some big money there. Big Mon Sports, you got a letter for me today? That's, I'm glad that it made it. Can't believe opening day is only like two weeks away. And the Japanese series is even sooner. I'll show you our hits, Michael, baseball cards in a second. This is our fifth Tops box that we've opened so far. Sean Doolittle, 150. I haven't given away the Benintendi yet, but I will. Planning on doing it at the end of the break. And Zach pulled Travis Swaggerty, Pirates number one draft pick. Auto patch out of 299 today. That's a good one. Hopefully he becomes a uh, decent player. There's a Bob Gibson rookie card, rookie history card. Can you give my friend a shout out? His uh, YouTube is NBA Dreams and he only has five subs. Shout out to him. I would say just uh, keep, um, if you have five subs, just keep making videos. I went back and I did my analytics. I did a, a spreadsheet on my analytics from every month that I did YouTube. And my first month on YouTube, for the entire month, I had zero subs for a whole month. Even though I was posting videos, like not even my family would subscribe to me. So it takes a while to get started. Uh, also, my first month on YouTube, guess how much money I made? Because back then, you could make, um, you could start making money the day that you joined YouTube. Like the day you uploaded a video, you could put ads in it. So, Boxburg Gold. My entire first month on YouTube, I made one cent, literally one cent, the entire month of February 2016. I've got a whole spreadsheet just so I can kind of compare trends and stuff for each month from month to month. What's your best month? My best month was December this past year, 2018. Um, Dave says that me and my brother helped you get from zero to 69 subs. That's another good way to get subs. Just um, participate in other channels. Carnage says, do you use Social Blade? I do use Social Blade, but I found that Social Blade is pretty inaccurate, at least for the revenue. Like, their revenue is always way off for, for my channel. I don't know about other channels. I guess their um, subscriber count is usually pretty good. We need to find one more hit, and then we'll do our silver packs for the first end of this uh, 2019 Tops break. I hope it's an autograph. King Arthur Baseball, I just passed the 150. Logo, thanks for pointing that out. I'm not too um, big on the 150 logos. After you see them a million times, it's just like they're kind of meh because they're not numbered or anything. Paul DeYoung, Josh Hader. What's your favorite hit? Oh, that's a good question. I would have to say either the uh, one of one Mike Trout autographed 83 Topps design card that we got, Cal Hendricks, 875, or the Shoyotani one of one autograph card. 
Other than the mantle hat, have you ever bought fake memorabilia? No, I usually don't buy memorabilia, Ryan. Um, like autographs, I'm really not into autographs at all. Um, was there any specific video that really got people watching you? Uh, I don't know. I've had some big videos that really um, did well in terms of views. But I'm not sure if those were the ones that brought me my subs or not. Like I have one video that has like 1.2 million um, views, but I think I got very few subs from that one. Is there a reason that you can't take the hat back? Um, it's like three and a half hours away, so I haven't even attempted to drive the whole way back across the state. And we have a $10 super chat from Bill Sites. Thank you, Bill. It says, hey, Eric, can't wait for the upcoming season and hopefully a Yankee championship. Bill, I think uh, the Yankees are, in terms of Vegas odds, they have the best odds tied with the Red Sox, I want to say, and the Astros for winning the World Series. If I had to pick right now, Bill, um, I haven't made my prediction video yet, but I would say the Yankees win the East over the Red Sox. And I definitely like their chances. So thank you very much for that $10 Super Chat, Bill. You're always so generous, and I really appreciate it, man. Someone asked what I use to film my videos. I'm using my wife's iPhone because my iPhone is messed up. Whenever I film with my iPhone, it's always super laggy. I don't know if I have like too much stuff on there or I need to clear some space, but look at this, guys. We have our next hit. It's a Reggie Jackson. Reggie Jackson game used bat from the Angels. That's nice. I'm glad for our Angels owner because the Angels are always usually one of the more expensive teams because of, you know, Mike Trout, Shoya Tawny. But Reggie Jackson, 84 tops design. Um, it says you have received a 1984. Baseball relic card and it says I really hate I wish they would give you an actual game the memorabilia card on this uh, Containless card is not from any specific game event or season like I wish they would tell us like You know how like MLB does it with their stickers uh, little like holograms that says the exact like inning the pitch down to like the the pitch um, really wish that we had that but Still cool to get a Reggie Jackson relic. Shout out to you, Jacks baseball cards. Taco Tuesday says, are you going to Cleveland Indians game? First one that's in Cleveland. Opening day? No, nah, I won't be there. I think the opening day is the same day that the Pirates have their opening day, so I'll be in Pittsburgh. It's probably going to be like snowing in Cleveland for opening day. It seems like they always have bad weather. I don't know when the first time I'm going to get to Cleveland, but one of these days I will. Crusty Chicken McNuggets found me because of Dodger Films. That's awesome. Dodger Films is one of my favorite YouTubers, John Lester. One of these days I hope to meet Bobby Crosby. I'm going out to L.A. again this year, so maybe I'll run into him. it would be pretty awesome. All right, uh, now we have some Super Packs. Or not Super Packs, Silver Packs. They could be Super, depending on what we pull out of them. Five Silver Packs, one for each box. Sometimes you'll get some big hits out of here. Mess of things, the Fairfield box video brought you here. That one did pretty good. Yeah, Mighty Goat's also really good enough, Tally. Right, let's see what we get here. Five silver packs going to our five box owners here. They're all 84 tops designs. George Springer, Adalberto Mondese, Glaber Torres, and Will Clark. Nice refractors. Zachary, you just missed the first half of tops. I'll show you the hits here in a second. We're just finishing up with the silver packs. Hoping to find an autograph. Every now and then you can find an autograph out of these. So far, I haven't found one this year. Ozzy Smith and Aaron Judge. Refractors and very nice. I know that you can get autographs out of silver packs. I have seen it um, this year. Here's going to be a gold one. Will Clark. I think these gold are numbered out of, I want to say, 50 or something like that. Kevin Kramer. And it is numbered out of 50. Number 10 of 50, gold border for our Pirates owner, which is uh, Eric. Eric, thank you very much again for that super chat that you donated earlier, man. John Smoltz. And nothing really great in there. The 1981 Don Russ video had you dying. It had me dying, too. I was like, I almost thought I was going to scrap that video, but I was like, you know what? I have to do this video. I, like, hyped it up and everything. Oldest box I ever opened, 81 Donruss, and it turned out to be a complete dud. 
Taco Tuesdays. Eric, then I'll go to Pittsburgh to find you. We can hang out. And I like your signature with um, Mrs. Jabs and Olivia. I'll be there. PNC Park opening day. I usually just uh, hang out in the outfield waiting for home runs. Who was the A's card? Um, Ramon Laureano. So no autograph or anything in there. That was our best one out of 50. And that's the end of the first half of the tops break. Um, just to recap the hits really quick from the first end, we had Reggie Jackson bat relic, Jan Moncada jersey relic, Corey Seager jersey relic, a David Cohn autograph, and Joe Maurer bat relic. So having some good luck with the bat relics, which is nice. Now we have the second half of our tops um, break. It's a five box break called Break J. I usually do that just for my own purposes, for organization. Like, um, I'll throw these cards in team bags, and then on each team bag I'll put a big I so I know who to send it to. All right, five more boxes. This is break J. Here's the list. Um, I'll just refer to that whenever we get hits so I can tell you who got it. Five boxes and then five silver packs. By the way, I just remembered, guys. They sent me 12 silver packs, so I'm going to have two extra silver packs to give away, and I'll tell you how later in this video. will be pretty easy. All right, next box. Actually, this is the first box of the second half of it. Thank you, IB Mystery. King Arthur, you have yet to rip opening day. Well, don't feel bad. It just came out today. So um, there's a lot of um, people out there that have yet to rip it, especially if you buy a retail. Whenever you buy it from Walmart and Target, you usually have to wait a couple extra days. Patrick, how's it going? Can you show the list again? Yep, it's right here. I'll just leave it right there so you can see it um, in the corner. I'll refer to that whenever we get our hits. By the way, our Cubs owner, I should say, is it going to be Jasper. Jasper, if you're watching, um, thank you very much for buying into this break. Hopefully you get a Cubs hit. I'm rooting for you. Tom, you have to go to the ER. I hope everything's going to be all right, man. Take care of yourself um, first. Don't worry about The break will still be here whenever you come back. Ronald Acuna Jr. Hope everything's all right, man. I know I've had to make my share of ER trips over the years. For me, um, with my ER trips, mostly I had to deal with uh, basketball injuries. Usually, um, like, rolling my ankle and just ballooning up 1040. I've done that so many times in my life. Probably at least seven or eight times I've done that. So, yeah, Tom... Hope everything uh, turns out okay for you, man. My worst ever baseball injury happened when I was like 18. And I was playing a pickup game of baseball um, at, a, at Hempfield Park, not too far away from here. And uh, Hempfield Park, their their field used to be pretty crappy. It was like playing on concrete, basically. For some reason, the dirt there was an all-dirt infield, and it was super hard. There's a $4 Super Chat from Patrick B. Thank you very much, Patrick. Really appreciate that uh, $4 Super Chat. I know Patrick has a channel, so check him out and give him a, a sub there. What about the time you fell on your face in Atlanta? Tigger Z, I haven't gotten around to probably that box yet. Uh, a fan mail, but I will get to it hopefully within the next, I don't know, a few weeks. I just have not had any time at all to do fan mail recently as I've been working on these case breaks. My worst baseball injury anyway was I um, hit a ball like way deep in the outfield, rolled the whole way to the wall, and I stretched it into a triple, and I slid into third base in shorts for some stupid reason. And I tore up my entire left uh, left leg, like worst freaking uh, brush burn you ever saw, complete with um, 
like sand embedded in my skin. Let me tell you, that was the worst baseball injury I ever had. I also got injured at uh, the ballpark a few times, uh, which uh, those are different stories. But our hit is Jasper. You got a hit, man. How about that? Jasper just had a birthday and used uh, his gift card that he got for his birthday to buy into the break. That's what he wanted for his birthday. And Jasper, in our first box, you got a hit. Chris Bryan. I was rooting for you, man. That's why I have your name in all caps. So happy birthday to you. Happy belated birthday. And uh, congratulations on getting a Chris Bryant. Very, very happy for you. I don't know if you're in here watching Jasper, but congrats. So we got our Chris Bryant hit. Jersey Relic. It's not. It's a slight pinstripe. I always like when you can see the pinstripes. You can see on the right there, you got a little bit of it going on. It's not numbered, by the way. I wish it was numbered, but um, there's the back of it. That one will be coming to you soon. I'd like to get all these cards shipped out as soon as possible. Um, Rod Crew, 68 tops. That's a nice one. Randall Gritchick, pink uh, parallel out of 50. There's a $2 super chat from Aspie for Baseball. That's the one you want to follow. I think that's uh, Patrick's baseball channel so click that two dollar super chat ask before baseball and check them out give them some subs i really appreciate that patrick thank you so much patrick's a big braves fan mike um thanks for asking how i'm feeling i'm just feeling a little tired during the week it's really kind of tough because i have to wake up at 5 30 and a lot of times i don't go to bed till like midnight or after midnight so i'm pretty tired during the week Hopefully I can get to bed at a decent hour tonight since I won't have any videos to upload or anything. I already uploaded my video for the day, the 2019 Topps um, opening day. Box opening. Taco Tuesday says, you missed my comment. Is that deal I didn't pay, but it's important? I don't know exactly what you're saying. When is my spring break? My spring break is only one day. It's in... It's Good Friday, so it's one day off. Big deal. We used to have, I think, a really nice long break, but we lost it all to the uh, snow days. So, I mean, I will definitely enjoy that Good Friday and just resting and do nothing all day and maybe go to uh, see a Pirates game. Pirates are at home that Friday, that night. Chet asks a strange question. Do you wear socks to bed? Nope, I do not. That would really bother me if I did. W. Vogs, kids are good. They're all in bed. Olivia had bowling today and um, went to pick her up, and she was only one point behind the leader, so she was pretty happy. All right, let's see here. We already got our hit out of here. 1952 Tops PSA Mantle, $92,000. I think I'm going to tap out around $10,000 to follow the flip. I haven't even had time to list my next fall of the flips on eBay. I have a couple collections of cards that I want to list. Uh, by the way, the fall of the flip, if you're wondering where I'm at right now, I'm at $700 total towards the uh, $10,000 goal. So if I just get um, some time that I can get that stuff listed, we can probably get to 1000 soon. I'd like to maybe um, make up some ground here this next month or two. And I've been watching a couple mantles. PSA 1 is about 10,000. There's one on there right now. Last time I checked, I've been watching it. It's like 9,500 something. It's not in that bad of a sh It's not in like terrible shape. The corners are really rounded off though. Like I don't want to get one. If I get a PSA 1, I don't want to get one that's completely destroyed. I want to get one that still has good eye appeal and everything. Like, um, I don't know if you follow Silver Jackify, but he got a PSA 0, basically a PSA 0. It's an altered mantle, which means someone trimmed it. There's a Jose Ramirez short print photo variation. Uh, but his looks, like, really, really, like, sharp. I'd love to get one like he got. Very, very sharp-looking card. Someone just trimmed the edge. Probably took it from a PSA 2 or 3 down to a PSA 0. Should we all ask Zach to feature you in one of his vids? That would be cool. 
Zach's one of my friends, so whenever he comes to PNC Park, if he wants to, um, I would definitely be in. Um, he he did have me in one of his videos once in Cleveland. Um, he did a uh, just like a talk with me about the uh, Cleveland stick that I used to retrieve balls out of the um, the trees in Heritage Park, but um, he cut that from his video. Didn't make the final cut, unfortunately. But yeah, Zach is uh, Zach's a friend that goes back to like 2007 or 2008. I've known him for a long time, 1044. I always get him in early to batting practice at PNC Park. So that is it for our first box of Break J. We've had one hit so far, and it goes to Jasper. Chris Bryant autograph. Still have four more Trump boxes to go, and then we're going to do the silver packs. Yeah, I'd probably rather, rather have the rounded corners, too. I just don't want anything that's like super creased or like super faded i'm gonna get all four of these boxes out matt m how's it going man the key to zach getting a ton of baseballs is he still looks like he's 12 years old um he does look very young for his age but that whole um getting balls tossed to him. It's a lot harder now because Zach has created quite a following at baseball games. So batting practice, like years ago when I first started, like back in 2007, there'd be like three to five people in the entire stadium for season ticket holder time. Now it's like, I don't know, dozens and dozens. And then for by the time the gates open, it's hundreds and hundreds. It's a lot harder than it used to be. Wow, Tom, you're watching from the ER waiting room. Tom, you got there quickly. I hope you're okay. Is it you that is uh, in need of medical attention or is it someone in your family? Hope we get a nice big hit here. Hopefully you have uh, good service there. Hopefully you don't have to uh, stay in overnight. I know that sitting in, in the ER waiting room is pretty bad. Sometimes it takes hours and hours and hours to be seen. Chris Sabo's glasses. You love the channel. Uh, Chris, <laughs> Chris Sabo's actual glasses are in the live stream. I always hated you, Chris Sabo's glasses. It used to annoy me when I was a kid, but we can let bygones be bygones. There's Darren. Darren Comfort, my benefactor, Patreon patron. Welcome, Darren. Darren had the uh, left-hand side of um, opening day box today, and uh, Triple C had the right-hand side. What hits have been pulled? Well, you missed a, uh, so far in J, which we're only on our second box of J. That's the second half of the five box, or 10 boxes we're opening. Chris Bryant, um, Jersey Relic. Best hit so far, maybe a Reggie Jackson bat relic. Also got a David Cohn autograph card. Yeah, Chris Sabo did have a busted, um, or did get busted with a corked bat. I remember that. Sammy Sosa had a corked bat. Remember his bat exploding and flying all over the field. I think that was, that might have been here at PNC Park against Solomon Torres. I feel like that happened here for some reason. Yeah, Darren is a legend. I definitely need to uh, get out to Colorado to a Rockies game and maybe hang out with Darren at some point at Coors Field. For those of you asking for the giveaway, that's coming at the end of this video. Also, I hope to do the uh, Patreon box giveaway if my wife got all of your names typed up. I put her to work a little earlier and had her type in the names. Acuna's on fire in spring training. I hope that um, translates to the uh, regular season. Sometimes in spring training, guys will be super hot and they'll be hitting like 500. And then come the uh, regular season, they just completely flame out. Like Jason Kipnis last year, the year before, was like just killing everything. And then the season came around and he was like a 200 hitter. So I think Acuna is a little bit better than Jason Kipnis. So I really hope. I would rank Acuna in my top 10 favorite players for sure. I'm rooting for him. I like exciting young players like that. Um, JP Quintero just purchased two 2019 opening day boxes. Good luck on those. They're fun to open. Don't expect an autograph, though. 
think we saw it was like one in a thousand packs or something like that on the odds today. Here's a Kenley Jansen vintage stock. Is Mookie Betts in my top 10? Um, I don't think Betts would make it in my top 10, but he'd be pretty close. Might be top 20. Lindor would be in my top 10. I like Lindor a lot. Seth Lugo. I should probably like make a list one of these times. Maybe make a video. My top 100 favorite players. You know how they have these prospect lists? Top 100 prospects in baseball? I should do my top 100 favorite players and tell you why. Because a lot of these guys I have stories about and stuff like that. Guys that have been super nice to me at ballparks. Uh, Tom, you're welcome for the Juan Soto cards. Thank you for the fan mail that you sent. And Chet Lemon says, Chris Davis doesn't need to hit well since he's so handsome. Interesting comment. You must really love his um, 2019 Topps Heritage card where he's staring into the camera. Winter Season says that um, you're my 70th like. Shout out to you. Thank you for being like number 70. <clears throat> Here's our hit. Oh, we have a $25 Super Chat from Three River Sports Cards. Everybody, Three River Sports Cards has got a great channel going on over there. So just we'll just take a minute before I even show you this hit. Everybody go and make sure you click on that $25 and sub to Three River Sports Cards. Awesome baseball channel. Check them out. All you have to do is click go to channel, hit the subscribe button on his channel, and then you can come on back. Um, very, very nice. Thank you very much for that super chat. I really appreciate that. $25 super chat. All right, so now that you've all subscribed to Three River Sports Cards, let's check out this hit. Um, what do you think? Are you checking out baseball players again? It's going to be a Gary Sanchez. Gary Sanchez had an awful year last year. But that's going to Joseph B., our Yankees owner. Really bad year for Gary Sanchez. Hope he turns it around. Still got the power, but he needs to make contact a little more often. Sound like an owl. I sound like an owl? Yes. Why? You're always giving those wise tidbits to all everybody. Oh, this guy, he's got such a powerful swing, but he needs to concentrate more. You should see Gary Sanchez in batting practice. That's like, he's in the dream group. Gary Sanchez and Aaron Judge are in the same group usually, so. Um, those guys. You mean the field of dreams? If you build it, they will come. Okay. Next pack. We already got our hit out of this box, but thank you very much, David the MLB man. Mike Leake, gold, out of 2019. Three River Sports Cards. Yep, there are a lot of great um, people in this community. And lots of different YouTubers, too. There's been a whole bunch of uh, YouTube channels that have popped up over the past few months. All doing great things. We got D. Porter. It says, $5 Super Chat. Thank you very much, D. Porter. Says, hey Eric, do you think Vlad Jr. has a chance to be better than his old man? D Porter, thank you very, very much for that super chat. And um, when you say, does he have a chance? Yeah, his career hasn't even started yet, so he definitely has a chance. Will he be? Um, I don't know. He definitely is considered the best prospect in years that we've had in the big leagues. Um, he could hit, I don't know, he could be like a 350 hitter every year and hit like 35 to 40 days. I mean, Vlad Sr. is, um, that's going to be a tough one to top. It's a Hall of Famer, remember? So we're not just talking about an all-star here. It's not like um, Prince Fielder trying to be better than his dad. So I, I don't know. I He has a chance when I say he's got a, what percent chance? Maybe like, I don't know. 30-40% chance of being better at this age. Still so young. He's got so much to prove. We've seen our fair share of prospects fizzle out. I sure hope that he doesn't fizzle out. Yeah, Vladdy Sr. is in the Hall of Fame. W. Voggs, um, 
Uh, never mind. My wife left W Vogs. She um is not in the room anymore. So I, I guess I could give you a shout out if that is um okay. Shout out to you, W Vogs. Two hundred plus subscribers. Keep it up. I'm just in the office typing up all these uh, patreons that you're having me doing. That's uh, taking years of my life. W Vogs wants a shout out from you. Okay. Hi, W Vogs. Shout out to you. There you go, W Vogs. She came back. She was in my office. I'm um, working on the Patreon. Um, list. There's a Jackie Robinson 1952 tops. Obviously a reprint. That'd be pretty sick if they put a real buyback 52 tops in here. Willie Calhoun, black border parallel out of 67. It's a nice one. Somebody out there is putting together that uh, black border parallel set. There are set builders out there that will buy those cards. You can list those on eBay and usually get a couple bucks for them. And that's it for that box. So we had a Gary Sanchez coming out of that one. Three more boxes. Then we got Silver Packs, then Topps Archives. Pretty pumped for Topps Archives. It's been a while since we did Topps Archives. I think it was November was the last time we did a case of those. It's kind of like a slow week for um, baseball card um, cases. I mean, we had opening day, but that was about it this week. Yep. Today's the day, Micah, for the boom box. Thanks for stopping by, Micah. Sometimes I forget that's you since you changed your name. I'm so used to seeing Micah. Um, someone just asked how I sort them. I go through later and I, I sort by team first and then I go through and I sleeve up. After I have them sorted by team, I sleeve up all of the numbered cards before putting them in team bags ultimate bros thank you where are you from ultimate bros i'm sure if you're from america i will definitely be near you at some point i do a lot of traveling as you know most of you know i'm a teacher so i'm off all summer long and i do tons of traveling all over the place it's regular archives chris Regular 2018 archives, so two on-card autos. There's a $10 Super Chat, followed by a $5 Super Chat. Back-to-back -back Super Chats in the same second, literally the same second. Let's check both these out. Starting with that $10 Super Chat, it says, Thanks for all the great content, sir. Always enjoy your videos, flea market hunts, pack ripping, box breaking, and variety in your content. Keep up the great work, sir. Opening day is almost here. $10 from Adam Vickerman. Thank you very much, Adam. Everyone take a second and click on that uh, little yellow box there and give Adam a sub. And also right after that, literally like a second later, we have a $5 super chat from Stacks 4 Packs. It says, just want to thank you for the big unit three out of four auto. I'm giving it away on the Mariners opening day versus my Red Sox. You're giving it away to one of your YouTubers, your YouTube subscribers or You'll have to let us know. That's really intriguing. Check out Stacks for Packs. That looks like a great channel. He's got 1992 tops with Rob Dibble on the front um, in his uh, avatar there. Stacks for Packs sounds like a great channel. Click on that $5 and um, check his channel. And also a $5 super chat from Michael Heath. It says, awesome pools tonight. Keep up the good pools. Thank you very much, Michael Heath. I really appreciate it. Check out all those channels, guys. Lots of uh, little ovals on your screen to go and sub to. Matt M. Baseball Cards, what's the best 88 Fleer card? Tom Glavin rookie card or Edgar Martinez rookie card would be my vote for top two. And here's a nice Ronald Acuna Jr. Uh, short print. Um, this might be a super short print because I've opened literally, I don't know, five, six cases of tops and I've never seen this card. So this might be a super short print going to the Braves owner, um, Michael R. I'm hoping it's not just a photo variation. I think that might be a super short print. Very, very cool. I've never seen that card before. You guys will have to let me know what that one's worth if it is a super short print. Sometimes those super short prints are worth $50 to uh, $75. And some people are saying SSP, super short print. That's a good one. Then I'm going to put that in our hit pile and make sure I get that in a top loader. Someone just asked if i ever been to um, Comerica Park. Yes, many times. Comerica Park is only about five hours away, so I usually get out there a few times Per season. In fact, my first ever um, game of the 2018 season was at Comerica Park. Olivia and I were the first people into Comerica Park last year on opening day, and we were on the news. They interviewed us, and um, I'm sure you could probably find it. I could find it somewhere. 
but yeah, we were on the news, um, on the Detroit local news station there. I forget what it was, but they interviewed us, and uh, it was pretty awesome. First people in the ballpark on opening day 2018, Olivia and I. I think she was off school that day. Trout the Beast, Micah. We'll be doing the boom box at the end of this break, so just stay tuned for that. Mookie Betts, rookie card, reprint, 2014 Tops update. You've got practice. Well, um, Micah, if you miss it, I will uh, have the um, have the live stream archives. So you can always go back and watch it. It's not like I'm going to give it away to anyone else if you win, and I will save it for you, man. I also send it along with those packs that I owe you. J5 Mad Hair Flow. You saw my interview from Comerica Park. That's pretty awesome. Yep, we were just playing. Olivia and I were playing catch, waiting for the uh, gates to open. We were like the only people there. And the Detroit came up and interviewed us, the Detroit news station. There's Joey Votto, photo variation from the All Star Game red carpet. The Acuna super short print is worth $25 to $30. That's still pretty good. That's better than any of the relics so far. Usually relics are like, I don't know, three to five bucks. It's somewhere. I, you, I don't know if you could search. Maybe if you search my name. I, I don't know if I gave them my name or not. Search my name, Detroit, but it's out there. Randy Wise says you're like Forrest Gump, always in the right place. Yeah, it was just a uh, just a little interview, though. It was a nice Justin Bohr out of 50. Yeah, W. Vogs, if you type in my name, Eric Jab, CNN. I was on the news for that. I got a World Series ticket back in 2013 for six bucks. I was also on Fox News. Um, you probably don't remember this, but years ago, there is an incident at PNC Park, and you probably would only remember it if you're from Pittsburgh, where a fan was tasered, and I was literally standing like right next to the guy, and I was just standing there with my video camera like at my chest, and I videoed the entire incident of this guy getting tasered, and uh, the guy was like a superhero, and not, he wasn't literally a superhero, but he had this like American jacket on with an American flag, and um, the taser wasn't working. Like the cop was trying to taser him, and he was just... He was just taking it and standing there, and then he was like, kind of mocking the cop. He was like, "Ooh, like that did nothing," and so the cop took out his um, billy club and started striking the guy in the head. And I was literally standing right there, just with my camera like this, like filming the entire thing. And then the next day, it went all over the news. It was on ESPN and all over the place. Um, that was back when I had my old YouTube channel with like a hundred subs, and um, Fox News, like the real Fox News on your cable, um, had me on for an interview that wanted to know everything that happened. And, and we have our next hit. That was, I think, 2010 or 2011. That was years ago. What did the guy do wrong? He was just like swearing and um, just being like complete, you know, drunken idiot, I guess. I didn't really see everything that happened. I just saw when they tried to eject him from the stadium. And now we have our Astros hit, 1984 Topps Design. And it's going to be Carlos Correa going to our Astros owner, David G. Congratulations, David. Put that aside in our hit pile along with the other relics, the uh, Gary Sanchez and the Chris Bryant. And also the super short print of Ronald Acuna Jr., your rookie of the year. Uh, have I ever been to a Buffalo Bisons game? Nope. Been to very few minor league games. I think I've only been to like three or four. Matt M. says, where do I rank the 2019 design all-time? I'd say probably like somewhere in the middle, in the 50th percentile. It's definitely not like one of the best of all time. It's not terrible, though. Hey, Wicked Discounts, how's it going? Hope you're training for wiffle ball out in your backyard. Got to get ready for our season. Will I go to Yankee Stadium this year? I don't know, Vincent. Yankee Stadium. I was there last year. It's kind of kind of a tough stadium. It's going to be a tough ticket this year unless you go on a weekday. Dynamic Duo, gold card. Come check out the Flying Squirrels. Richmond Flying Squirrels. Aren't they like the affiliate of the Giants or something like that? Can't remember. I want to say it's a West Coast team like the Giants. 
Anch, do I plan to come to Nats Park? Yeah, I'll probably be there a couple times. Not very often. Not a big fan of their new no backpack. Oh, you have it? Do you want to show it? Um, I don't know how the quality would be, though. Can you check it out? Well, yes, really show the taste. I don't think anyone's even talking about that video, though. You just said about the taser. Do they want to see it? You guys want to see the taser one? Super chat. Uh, $1.99 Super Chat from Cleveland Card Connection. Thank you very much, Cleveland Card Connection. Also, thank you for sponsoring my opening day um, box break today. Really appreciate that. Everyone check out Cleveland Card Connection. Last time I checked, he was at 447 subs. Hoping that I can help bump him up to 500. So he can do his next giveaway. Cleveland Card Connection usually does giveaways at um, every 100 subs or so. DC, fi the DC fan Chris found the video. You want to slide it in here? Me? All right, that's it for that box. Do you want the full screen? Or All right, this is the video that um, I was talking about from earlier. Um, this, this video had 1,000, 600,000 views, something like that. Um, since I mentioned it's only a minute long. So I was standing there waiting for my wife to get done. This is the guy that looks like Stone Cold Steve Austin. And he's coming down the stairs. Everyone's shouting USA. He misses the high five there. Then he shoves the guy. And there's the taser. You hear it? He's being tased. He's like, ooh, and then boom. Doesn't really do anything. He's, he's like kind of like squaring up with him. And then here's the big hit. Big hit right across the neck. Still takes it. Another one to the back of the legs. I'm just standing there. I'm kind of blocked in here by the tables. I try to get out of the way. And then they just start going to town on the guy. He's down on the ground, and then they get him. Um, they they get him in handcuffs, but um, that was pretty crazy. The video went viral. Um, like I said, six hundred some thousand views. Of course, back then I wasn't monetized. But yeah, that was on my old YouTube channel um, called um, Just Eric with one hundred nine subs. Pretty intense moment at PNC Park. Um, yep, so that was me that recorded that. I knew something was gonna happen. I don't know why I just decided to start recording. But um, that was back in the day. That was, that was back when, um, that was before Olivia was even born. You gotta admit though, the first uh, the first shot he took was pretty soft, right across the clavicle there. And then he kind of like started mocking the cop and got the cop mad. I mean, you got you can't do that kind of stuff. Any big hits um, so far? Reggie Jackson, Bat Relic, Joe Maurer, Bat Relic, um, David Cohn autograph, Gary Sanchez Relic, Ronald Acuna Super Short Print. That was a faux Kurt Angle. Yeah, a lot of people in the original comments when I first published that video um, were talking about um, how he looked like Kurt Angle, former wrestler. Uh, what's that one he's missing? Giovanni, how's it going? Kevin's got to go to bed. You have a kidney appointment in the morning. Hope everything goes well on your appointment. I've got, my, uh, I've got an appointment next Monday I'm going to be off work for. Winter season. Can you please say Sabres? Yes, Sabres. I don't know why you want me to say that, but there you go. Micah says, uh, who is everyone rooting for to win the boombox? Probably themselves, unless they're rooting for you. Archie Bradley, Independence Day out of 76. Kurt Angle is a Pittsburgh native. There's a gold Arnauto. That's a pretty good one. Number 77 of 2019. DC fan Chris said he's hoping a young kid wins if he doesn't win. We'll see what happens. All I have to do is um, bring up the video link and put it into a... Uh, one of those websites that automatically chooses for you. Just makes it a lot easier. 
Uh, like my wife is typing up all my Patreon patrons right now and she's been doing it the entire break. She's still not done yet. Cause I'm having her type like every dollar is like an entry. I might have to change that for the future and just divide everything by like seven. So like, for example, if you're on the $7 tier, you're in there one time. And if you're on like the $25 tier, you're... I guess that all depends on your point of view. Jose Brayu. Okay, let's see. In this one, we got a Mookie Betts gold. That's a good one. 11-16. Bruno San Martino is also from Pittsburgh. That is right. There's a uh, James McCann, 150. Kyle Seeger. I don't know anything about hockey, so I can't say um, go Sabres or not. I literally don't even know like what place the Penguins are in. I have not watched one minute of a hockey game, possibly ever. Check out this Babe Ruth card coming up. What year is this? 1914 Babe Ruth on the back. Uh, the back of this beauty features the 1914 schedule for the Baltimore Orioles. That's pretty awesome. I'd love to have that. I do not have any real Babe Ruth cards, as I'm sure most people don't. Gary Sanchez, 84 tops. Dave wants to know if my brother's doing a video tonight. I don't know. He might. Usually my brother goes every other day. So he's about due for one. He's definitely doing a box break tomorrow. Actually, he's doing a whole mixer break of 20 boxes. I'll have to check out my brother's channel, The Pass is Alive. He still had, the beginning of this stream, he had 11, I think 11 spots left. If you guys sell out this case break, I might have to go over to his house and make a cameo appearance in his break. I'll have to ask him if he wants me to do that or not. If you got... What do you think about that, Jono? If, if uh, your break sells out tonight, I can make... If those last 11 spots, I'll go over... I can come over to your house and we can. Uh, I can make a cameo after the kids are in bed. All right, he said, that would be sick, Eric. Let's do it if it sells out. So, if my brother's break um, sells out, I will go over to his house and we will um, tag team that um, break of all those 20 boxes, do a collab. I can kind of show you the ropes on the brakes. Show you how to keep things organized after like little things I've picked up after doing these for a few months. Vincent, that was a good idea. I'm gonna have to make sure I get my throwback Thursday video recorded though. I still haven't opened that box. Next one. There's a Yankees win with Aaron Judge. Dang, I'm getting hungry. My stomach is like growling. I had some gravy fries and chicken for dinner. Mike Trout! Wow, that's a nice one. That's a nice thick patch. Mike Trout out of 25. The other cards in here are just some regular ones. That is a nice one. Check out that... Um, what is that? Is that a seam? Nice seam there. Very nice. We had taco salad last night, 357, and it's out of 25. I'm guessing that's probably like a $30, $40 card maybe. 
25 to 35 dollars i would guess um just because of that nice thick um, double seam there that is really very 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 nice this one is going to angels owner j king congratulations j king pittsburgh fire you know how it is wicked discounts we tend to have good luck here Yep, my brother is selling 11 spots per team. That's um, $20 per team, I think he's selling them for, which is like 400 cards, which is a pretty good deal, especially since, you know, it's going to literally take him a week to sort through. I think I figured it out that's over 10,000 total cards or something like that. 20 boxes times 36 packs times, on average, like 15 to 16 cards per pack. All right, we've got one box left, and then we'll do our silver packs. Then we have Topps Archives. Topps Archives, there's a little bit less packs per box and uh, cards per pack. So that won't take as long. And uh, then after that, we have... Oh, that kind of sucked. I just took off my sweatshirt and I tossed it over on top of a box and I forgot if there's a bunch of packing peanuts in the box. So all these packing peanuts just flip in the air and went everywhere. Whoops. Last box of this. Here we go, it's going to be, let's do a super rip on this one. Super rip is where I open all of the packs in a stack at once. And then we go through them. Archives is right after this. This is our last box. 7 p.m. tomorrow for the break. So if it sells out before then, I will make a cameo. I'll have to make sure I record my video when I get home from school and schedule it to be uploaded at like, I don't know. Probably scheduled for like 9 o'clock or something like that. Boombox is coming up after we rip all of these, for those of you asking. So here's our first stack of cards. All right, let's see what we have here. Max Scherzer Gold. There's a nice black parallel out of 67. Glaber Torres. Looks like no hits in this first stack. Got a couple like parallels. That's a nice Mike Trout, 150. Billy Hamilton, Rainbow. But looks like no. Oh, well, there's a nice. Oh, that's not. A, I thought that was a black border one for a second. I always hate these cards. I never know who to give these to. Equipment, evolution, baseball glove. Like, who am I supposed to give it to? I usually just toss it in with somebody's randomly. All right, so that is the first stack of our final box of tops. Next stack, we'll just rip on through this stack and then go through them. And Glaber has a good last name. So do you, Adam. You got the same last name, huh? Chad Austin says that Instagram is broken. I don't know anything about Instagram, so might just be down. I know in the past YouTube has been down from time to time. All right, here is our next Facebook message and Insta was all hacked, says Wicked. Well, that kind of sucks. It's a 1570. I'm surprised Facebook is still around, quite honestly. I remember when MySpace went down. Our Pujols rookie card, that's one of those um, remember when cards or cards my mother threw out or whatever it is, whatever they're calling it this year. One of those reprints. Chris Bryant, Rainbow. David Ortiz. I know a lot of people still like David Ortiz out there. 84 design. Big Poppy. It'll be interesting to see in about four years if he can get into the Hall of Fame or not. I would guess no, just because of the steroids. But I do imagine that he'll probably be getting the Bonds and Clemens treatment and pulling around 50% of the vote or so. Eventually he might get in since he 
arguably, arguably is the best designated hitter of all time. I still think Bonds and Clemens are going to get in, too. All right, next. Chet says Facebook is trash. Yep, I deleted my Facebook. Um, I used to have one. I think I got rid of it in 2010. I made a special Facebook just to contact the owner of Diamond Cards. I should just give him my number, and that would probably be easier. Yeah, Edgar Martinez, great designated hitter. The only um, rap on Edgar was that he never played the field. People said that he wasn't that good of a fielder, but he never really had the opportunity to uh, play too much. All right, next stack. Let's see, where is our autograph or relic? There it is, Miguel Cabrera. Has had a really lousy last two years, but he's looking pretty good this spring, supposedly, and he might be able to return to his regular self. Miguel Cabrera, Detroit Tigers, going to Gandalf. Congratulations, Gandalf. You have two different Patreons with the same name. I don't even know which one. Oh, is that Chad Mun? Just put, like, Chad Mun Hawaii and Chad Mun Alabama. Is that the ones? It's Mun, but it's, like, is it Joe? I thought it was Chad. I can't remember. Oh. Just put the state they're from if they have the same name. All right, so that's going to be our final hit. So I'll just go through and just to see if there's any super short prints or anything like that. And then we have Topps Archives looking for um, sandlot cards and autograph cards. It's a full case break. We're doing the entire break. All 10 boxes. Yeah, Miggy's still a first ballot Hall of Famer for sure. D. Vogg says, I hope Larry Walker... I think Walker has a better chance than Murphy. But I think they both definitely have a chance, especially after Harold Bain. Anything's possible with that um, committee. Today's era committee or whatever they call it. Shout out to UKB cards. All right, last one. You got a Kopech on there on the top. There's a nice Juan Soto gold. That's pretty nice. Oh, that's just a little secret from personal information. Um, if you click on their name, does it say their email or something? You could put the first couple. We got two Patreon patrons that have the exact same name. One lives in Hawaii and then one lives in Alabama. So my wife is typing all the names in and is trying to differentiate between the two just in case one of them wins. That would be a conundrum. Logan Morrison. I'm supposed to give away a box of cards and I keep putting it off because it takes forever to type up uh, every Patreon patron and uh, have my wife do it. I just never had the time to do it. There's eight teams left, very nice. If that sells out, I will go over there and assist my brother and do a cameo. Spend at least an hour over there. All right, that's it for the toss break. Don't forget about our silver packs. I'm going to take two of these to give away to you guys. Let's see who we get here. Hoping for an autograph. Justice Sheffield's a good one, rookie card. Brad Keller is an underrated rookie. Corey Kluber, Kyle Ripken, I like that one a lot. Don Mattingly and Javi Baez. Chet says if he wins, the boombox cards are yours, Micah. That is very, very nice of you. Aaron Judge, Jesus Aguilar, Ryan O'Hearn, and Mookie Betts. I wonder what the odds are of finding an autograph out of these. I've probably opened like... It's going to be like 36 packs that I've opened of these, and I've not found an autograph yet this year. So we're about due for one. Charlie Blackman, Mark Grace, Cedric Mullins, and Reese Hoskins. Ooh, 
One in 24 packs, says Steven. All right, Steven, good info. So, did, oh, there it is, Jake Bowers. I told you we were due. Jake Bowers, he's now on the Indians, uh, but uh, this is going to the Rays owner. Rays going to Sean M. Congratulations, Sean. Nice Jake Bowers rookie card auto. It's kind of weird how they put that little TM after the Rays. I never even noticed that before. Almost, I thought it was like a little like smudge from the pen there, just looking at it like from afar. Nice autograph, Jake Bowers. That's going in the hit pile. Check out the back of it. It is numbered out of 199. So that is the last card of the break, and it's a hit. So just to recap, I will show you all of the uh, hits from the second half of the Tops break. And then it's time for Heritage. Here's what we got. We got that Jake Bowers you just saw, then Miguel Cabrera and Mike Trout relic with the nice seam. And then Carlos Correa, Gary Sanchez, and then Jasper with the Chris Bryant. So that's it for Tops. Now we have Tops Archive. Let me put this list in with all of cards from uh, Case Break J. All right, Tops Archives. Here's our list. Um, we've got some returning people in here. James S. is back. We also have a lot of these people have been in case breaks before. Linda W., Kelly W., a lot of regulars in here. John A. has got the Sandlot cards. So we will see what we pull out of um, Top's archives. There are two on-card autographs per box. And I think there's, if I remember correctly, 24 packs per box. And I think there's like eight cards per pack. There we go. Yep. 24 and eight. So, smaller boxes than Tops. Tops is, um, what was it, 14 cards per pack? 24 packs. So the packs are roughly 40% smaller. And this is just a one, we're doing a whole case, like these people get all of them. I decided to, um, a lot of times I like to do the half breaks just to keep the um, cost down so people can buy in on their favorite teams. And they're like twice as cheap. But for archives, I figured, Let's just go for a full case break and um, if people want them, they can have them. It makes my job a little easier because I only have to sort them one time. All right, here we go. Yep, Legendary Linda is in there. She's got the Pirates and Rangers. So we'll see what she gets. All right, here we go. We have Jake Odorizzi and Tyler Glass now. Tanaka, Cruz, Smoke. Turn back the clock back when Pujols was good. Jose Abreu and Buster Posey. I like the 81 Tops designs. Archives is always nice. I think maybe what are they going to do this year? They're probably doing like 60 Tops, 78 Tops, and maybe um, like 82 Tops. Do they um, increase it by one every year? I can't remember. Glaber Torres, rookie card. Austin Hayes, rookie card. And Reggie Jackson. By the way, the backs look exactly like they did back in 81, which is pretty nice. I like how they do that. See, like, 93 Tops has the 93 Tops back. The 77 Tops has that design. Really, really nice. Micah's got to go in 45 minutes. Well, Micah, if you missed the end of the break, it will be up for you to watch at a later time. Hope your practice goes well. Is that baseball practice you have? Um, 357 says, you heard the Rays ballpark is not that good. There's William McCovey, 1960 Tops, rookie card. Almost bought this one. Really, really close to buying. I think it was 20 bucks. It um, Junior had a cards, but it had a giant crease down the middle. It was really close to buying it. I got this case for Janie, who just asked, where did I get these? I got this case off of the internet. There's our first Sandlot card, Yaya. Alan Yaya, Yaya McLennan. I don't know why I said Yaya, like, that was weird how I said that. That's good. All the Sandlot cards go to John A. The first time I did this break, I had all these Sandlot cards left over. I'm like, who do I give these to? So that's why. There we go. Ahmed Rosario, our first hit. That is a nice one. Ahmed Rosario, rookie card hit. Um, see the nice um, stamp up there? Fan favorite certified autograph issue, 1982 Tops design. That one's going to our Mets owner, which is Joseph B. Congratulations, Joseph, on our first hit. Check out the back. I don't know what the heck that is on the back. What is that line? Um, weird. That's a weird line on the back. That kind of is stupid. I don't know if that could come off or not. I don't want to really scratch at it. 
Um, but Ahmed Rosario autograph, at least the front is super clean. That's our first hit. Nice on card auto. JB, I have no idea what that line was. I don't know if it could be removed or not, but I don't want to start scratches at the card. That's going to be up to Joseph to uh, try to remove if he wants to. The Yaya Kid from Sandlot's an absolute scumbag in real life. There's a Juan Soto rookie card. He looks a lot older than 19. I don't know. For some reason, I think he looks like he's like 30. Reggie Jackson rookie history. By the way, guys, there is a rookie history autograph card somewhere in this case. So, like, this card, like, would be autographed somewhere in this case. Um, just like that. So, keep an eye out for that. That's what we're looking for. It's the case hit. Would love to find a Reggie Jackson autograph card. This is 10 boxes, the entire case. Next one. Nothing crazy in there. Sometimes in archives, you get some throwback autographs from guys that played in the, like, 70s. Oahu is hot right now. It's um, pretty warm here, too. It's supposed to get up to 72 here tomorrow, which is going to be a new record for the year. That'll be the warmest it's been so far. Also, chance of rain, though. Uh, what would that say? When are you going to list the next set of cards for Fall the Flip? Asked Chris. Um, I don't know. I'd like to do it tomorrow. I just never have time. I might just start doing them one at a time. Dave Roberts, there we go. That is a nice legendary card. You might remember Dave Roberts, Roberts and his legendary steal of second base. It's a nice auto. So, so far we got our, a very nice uh, couple autographs here. Dave Roberts, of course, now is the manager of the Los Angeles Dodgers. Back then he was a speedy bench player with the Red Sox and is numbered out of 99. Let's go into our Red Sox owner, which is, you guessed it, she usually never buys the Red Sox, but Linda W. with the hit. Linda, congratulations. A lot of people call Linda legendary Linda or lucky Linda, and she gets a hit again. I like that autograph a lot. Dave Roberts, manager of the Dodgers. That is not the case hit. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not. I want to say the case hit actually says rookie history on it, and that one just says fan favorites. If you go to my eBay listing or if you go to the Cardboard Connection and check out the checklist, should be on there. Cardboard Connection is an awesome website. It has a checklist for every subset and autograph set for every set. Um, guys like John Smoltz, Robin Yount, Reggie Jackson, Clayton Kershaw. I know the last time I opened a case of these, um, our case it was a John Smoltz 1989 Topps rookie card that was autographed. That was pretty awesome. Matt M uses that for his checklist. Yep, I always copy and paste that into my um, listing so everyone knows exactly what they could possibly find and use it as a guide to choose which team or teams they want to buy into. Rookie history is the case hit. There's a bunch of fan favorites. Yep. So far, we've got two fan favorites, and there's two autographs per box, so we might be out of autographs for this box, but we still have nine more boxes after this. So plenty more to go. Turn back the clock. Piazza, Brandon Woodruff, rookie card. Josh Donaldson, Scott Kingery. He's kind of a sneaky pick. I think I picked him up at one point in one of my drafts near the end of uh, the draft since you can play multiple positions. Conforto. Um, that's a silver Orlando Arcia, Tony Perez. Eduardo Perez is his son. Eduardo Perez was a, uh, I don't know, kind of a mediocre major leaguer. I think he had like a 260 career batting average, or maybe it was actually 248 was his career average. But um, pretty good um, analyst. There's uh, Hamilton Ham Porter. Kingry has had a bad spring. Hopefully he turns it around. The Yankee or the uh, Phillies signed him to a long-term deal. I took um, Mike Trout first, but it was the auto draft because I got there late in the competitive league. And in the casual league, I took Mookie Betts first. 
down the M's. Mm -hmm. Just take it through your hands. Next, we have um, Bertram Grover Weeks. Next pack, Glaber Torres and Ron Acuna Jr. rookie cards. Have I pre-ordered the show? Nope, not yet. I honestly don't know if I'll even have time to ever play this show again with how busy I am with YouTube and everything. Like every night it's, it takes a couple hours of my free time. So like after the kids are in bed, I don't know. I don't know if I should pre-order it or not. All right, that's it for our first box. We had two autographs. Next up, hey, Lone Star is in the house. What's up, Lone Star? Welcome to the, uh, you're just tuning in at the right time. We're doing archives, which in my opinion is the better of the two cases. Better hits. Already pulled two autographs. Nice on-card autos. Yep, nine more boxes, including this one. So I'll probably be here for maybe about, I don't know, another hour. Maybe less. I can't, I'm always bad on estimating time. Depends on how much I talk to you guys. I, I will show all the autographs again at the end. Five minutes a box, it'll take about an hour. Yeah, nine, nine times five, well, 45 minutes, but Walker Bueller. And then sometimes I might do a super rip and just rip through an entire side of a box if I'm feeling pressured on time. We'll definitely be done before 11. Next one, Ozzy Abbey's rookie card. So Victor Robles, Alex Rodriguez, who's marrying J-Lo. Tom Seaver. Kelly De Nunez, the pitcher from the Sandlot. I wonder how much the set of Sandlot cards is worth. Like if you put together the entire insert set Acuna was three for three today. That's good to hear. I like Acuna. There we go. Willie Wilson is our next hit. There must have been a lot of Willie Wilson cards made because we pulled this exact same card in the last case that I did of this like a couple months ago. Willie Wilson, former speedy leadoff hitter for the Royals. Pretty cool. 1979 Topps design. Has a pretty nice autograph. That's going to our Royals owner, which is going to be Matthew G., Dwayne, thank you for um, watching the break. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate your dedication. Jose could I did see that tweet, Omar. Jose Canseco accused A-Rod of cheating on Jayla with Canseco's ex-wife. I did see that tweet. I was like, what is this guy thinking? Like, if that's true, like, why would you put it out in public like that and not just, like, you know, do it privately? JLo is held together with rubber bands and duct tape. Well, she is almost 50. She's 49 years old. Uh, Janie Hazelbaker, you hit a home run at your baseball practice. That's awesome. Kinseiko is trying to out crazy Lenny Dykstra. Yeah, uh, both those guys are. I think I would be more scared of Lenny Dykstra, though. I think he would be more like dangerous to be around. I think Kinseiko is just kind of like, just kind of like funny. Check out this one. We have another autograph, 1990 tops. I'm guessing this is going to be a Tom Browning fan favorites. That's my guess. Yep, there it is. Tom Browning, 1990 tops fan favorites card going to our Reds owner, which is Wayne R. Congratulations, Wayne R. On your Tom Browning autograph. He once threw a no hitter. Uh, pretty famous in red circles or red some. Um, among Reds fans, I should say, he had a bobblehead that was made for the uh, Hall of Fame. What's your favorite baseball that I ever caught? That's a really tough question. I don't know. Usually, like, every thousandth ball is pretty special to me, like number 5,000, number 6,000, and so on and so forth. Levi Johnson. It's pretty awesome. 
Wally Backman, best coach ever. Wally Backman's had some insane blow-ups. If you want to watch some funny stuff, watch Wally Blackman um, arguing or tirades or ejections on YouTube. The guy is pretty crazy with the stuff he says. Tom Browning pitched the fastest games. Those are the best games to go to. Anyone remember Steve Traxel from the Cubs? That guy took forever to pitch. He was might have been the slowest guy ever. So far, we've had four autographs. One um, current player and three past players. Jose Caseco was fun to watch. In fact, if I ever went out to uh, Las Vegas and... Um, I wouldn't mind trying to like meet up with Jose Canseco and playing some like softball home run derby with him or something. I wonder if he would be uh, up for that. I could be like, Jose, I can maybe get you a little bit of exposure. I know it's not many. I only have 20,000 subs and you have so many more on your, your uh, Twitter, but you know, maybe we can, I don't know. He probably would want something out of it. Like could plug your new um, book or workout DVD or whatever you're working on. That would be pretty awesome. Hanging out with Jose Canseco, one of my, uh, one of my. I wouldn't say he was one of my boyhood boyhood idols, but I definitely thought he was pretty cool back when I was growing. What's going on? Let me know if we're back. Am I? Um, are we frozen on the laptop? Let me know if we're back. Everyone's saying we're frozen. Why does it do that? It's good now. There we go. Better. Okay, we're back. We uh, went from 280-some viewers down to 95. Can you hit refresh on there and see if it works? Because um, a lot of people are saying we're back. Sometimes if it ever goes into that like holding pattern, it's always good to hit refresh. Usually it comes back after about a minute. You see me wiggle a box around? Yep. All right, we're back. No, I like to do that because if I just sit here and I, I don't wiggle the box around, people think that it's still frozen because the box just stays stationary. So we are back. Sorry for that delay. You didn't miss anything in the last pack. There was a Jeff Bagwell rookie history. Not autograph, 1991 tops. We got our two autographs early in that last box, so... Pixelated butt back, okay. Chet, wish you grew up in the 50s? Well, Chet, you'd be pretty old now if you did, though. That's a, that's a problem. Yeah, 50s look like a fun time, though. Just from watching movies like Back to the Future and stuff. Which is a great movie. All three of them are pretty good. All right, here's our next um, pack. Looking for autographs. Tom Glavin, Randy Johnson. Hope you get a Larry Walker rookie. That's right, 1990 is Larry Walker's rookie. Walker and Johnson, that's what you're shooting for. Yep, my brother definitely loves Back to the Future. I can't remember if um, our parents ever took us to see that. For some reason, I remember going to see Home Alone 1 in the theater like three times. And like the 1993 movie Gettysburg featuring Jeff Daniels like 12 times. I remember going and seeing Who Framed Roger Rabbit in 1988 with my dad. That was like the first movie I ever saw in the theater that I can remember. Brendan Boss, I'm not sure what that short print number is. There's a, oh, I wish that was autographed. 1984 Don Mattingly rookie history. Hopefully we find one of those tomorrow for throwback Thursday. We saw Back to the Future 3 for sure. Okay. Didn't we go, see, like, didn't mom take us to go see The Little Mermaid and we, like, walked out? I, I, we definitely saw some weird movie like that and we ended up walking out. Do you remember that? Were you there? I'm pretty sure we walked out of The Little Mermaid. There's something in it that like offended her or something. I don't know why she took us to take that anyway, or to see that anyway. 
Next pack. No autograph. Giveaway is coming up soon, Hunter. Yeah, that definitely happened. Yeah, we, we walked out of the Little Mermaid. I can't remember exactly. There, uh, Dave Roberts again. Two Dave Roberts for Linda W. That's awesome for um, awesome for Linda, but I wish they would have better um, quality control in the autographs and not double them up per case. My brother said she did force us to see Gettysburg about 12 times. Yeah, I remember driving to the Dollar Theater like an hour away like every weekend to go see that movie. I could probably pretty much um, probably watch that movie and recite most of it right now. I mean, it wasn't a bad movie. It definitely um, taught us some history, I guess. Yeah, Gettysburg was a great movie. Jeff Daniels did a great job. It was kind of weird seeing Jeff Daniels be Captain uh, Chamberlain and then go and star in Dumb and Dumber. Yeah, we're looking for the Rockies. I got you over here, Darren. No Rockies hits yet. Hopefully you get one. What box are we on? I, I think we're on box three, Vogs. Hey, W Vogs, you should start doing some uh, box breaks on your channel. You ever think of that? That might be pretty interesting. Maybe do a case break or start, start small with just a box break and have people buy in. That would be a pretty awesome addition to your channel if you're looking for new things to do. W Vogs starting to get up there with over 200 subs. Yeah, Moneyball was definitely a good movie. I saw that one in theaters. I saw that on my birthday. My wife took me to see that. W Vogue says boxes are expensive. Well, that's the thing. You figure out how much a box is, and then you have people buy in, and uh, you make your money back, break even. Huh? Yeah. What? You ever Moneyball? Yeah, Moneyball. It went on my birthday. I just said that. I literally just said my wife took me on my birthday to see Moneyball. All right, now I'm getting like accosted here. I hate when I open these packs and I get a bad rip like that. Chet Levin keeps getting subscribers and doesn't even post videos. That's like Joe iPhone. Joe iPhone um, was a pretty much a. a stalwart in the breaks for a long time and he never posted videos and got a bunch of subscribers through um just these um box breaks and case breaks so chet lemon um you might want to think about start uploading some content maybe you can talk about chris davis and you can show everyone your chris davis shrine in your basement or whatever and i think a lot of people would really be interested in that All right, next, let's see what we have here. There's Chris Davis for Chet. And there is uh, Wendy Peppercorn going to John. Too bad it's not autographed. Terrible rip right there. Ah, right, here we go. Oh, it's, is it lagging right on our hit? This is going to be an Andre Dawson for sure. Can you see it? Oh, please. Wake up. My wife says it's lagging. Is it lagging for you guys? Hit refresh to see what you got. I don't want to reveal the Andre Dawson autograph until... It... All right, JB says he's good. Here we go. I'm thinking that's Andre Dawson autograph. I see the Son in Andre Dawson. I see the the uh, Marlins. No, it's Charles Johnson. Dang it! I was hoping it was it was Andre Dawson. Still not bad. Out of 25, I got super pumped for that. I was hoping Andre Dawson. Charles Johnson is going to um, Marlins owner Matthew G. Who is he? Who Charles Johnson? Former catcher, played on Team USA in 1992, I think it was. 91, 92. Had some good years. Dang it. I was hoping for an Andre Dawson, Hall of Famer. All right, that's it for box three of ten. 
that's how archives is. There's some really good autographs, the case hit being the best one. And then you get some marginal players here and there. A lot of you guys that are newer to the hobby, especially if you're young, probably never heard of Charles Johnson. He was okay. He had some good seasons. The meanest player ever? I, pff, Chad Cool was really bad. Um, Wade LeBlanc is really bad. This is just from personal experience. I never liked Jaime Garcia. Um, who else is really, really bad? There's been some bad ones. They've just been like so mean. Like, you're like, hey, how's it going, man? Like, just super friendly. Like, only person around. They just totally ignore you. Seth Manis was really, really bad. He was a jerk. I'm just talking about guys that I've met in person or had experiences with. I know Manny Machado, a lot of people hate him just because of um, his antics. Javier Baez, I remember Javier Baez. I remember um, Lauren from PNC. If you're new to the channel, you don't know her, but she's this, um, she's this nice older lady, maybe like 50 years old, kind of like special needs, lives in like a group home and everything, but always super nice to me, and I always got in my way to help her and stuff. She tried to get Javier Baez to sign an autograph. She like walked after him for like a couple blocks, and he would not stop and even acknowledge her. Tom Glavin was very nice. I never met Tom Glavin in person, unfortunately. There's a Bertram Grover Weeks from the Sandlot. Jason Vargas is mean. Jason Vargas, you'd think he'd be a little bit nicer. He's not that good. You'd think guys that are like fringe major leaguers should should be a little bit nicer. I could see if you're a big shot and you want to... Oh, I thought that might have been autographed. John Smoltz. I could see if you're a really big shot and you want to like uh, big league people like Justin Verlander. Justin Verlander has big leagued me a couple times. Just saying, like, hey, Justin, um, any chance you could sign this ball? Like, you know, like after batting practice when there's only a few people around and they just pretend like they don't hear you. But, I mean, that's okay. He's probably got other stuff to do. Did you see the ad for the new Aladdin? There's a new Aladdin coming out? Yeah, with, like, real people. With real people? Yeah, for the newer, newer generations out there, the... Jasmine character was in Lemonade Mouth, which is a movie for a Disney channel. I have no idea. Yeah, you're way too old for Lemonade Mouth. Scott Kingery is very nice. That's awesome to hear. Uh, we might have another auto here. I'm guessing... What do you guys think? I'm guessing Shannon Stewart from the Blue Jays. Dang it. I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's a Shannon Stewart. I would be willing to um, bet money on it. Yeah, Shannon Stewart. Dang. I mean, nice autograph and everything. I was hoping it would be a bigger star than that. That one's going to Blue Jays owner Michael H. Congratulations, Michael. Um, it's a pretty nice autograph. Purple autograph parallel out of 150. Shannon Stewart. Another good major leaguer, but not great. So hoping for a great one. I'm going to do a... I think I'm going to start doing a super rip here. Once we get our two autographs... We got our two autographs out of that um, box. So once we get our two autographs, I will do what I like to call a super rip and rip all the packs and go through those cards all at once. W. Vogg says, I have met Eloy Jimenez and Michael Kopech. Both are very nice. Big boy Eloy. That's what I call him. I don't know why I call him that. Big boy Eloy Jimenez. Just got sent down to the minor leagues today. He was only hitting 154 in spring training. Um, but he did tear up double A and triple A last year. So he'll be up soon. I'm going to have him work on a couple things to keep his service time down. But... I really am looking forward to seeing Eloy Jimenez. All right, next. Matt, and that was just a lucky guess, man. Sometimes I just see like a small speck of the card and I just 
for some reason get a lucky guess. All right. Um, here is all of these cards. Maybe we'll get lucky and get a third autograph. It's not likely, but we'll see. Danny Duffy, purple parallel. That's out of 175. Ben Attendee is a nice one. We'll be giving away his autograph shortly after about six more boxes. Levy Johnson, thank you very much. Fan Mail Friday coming up. I think I might just do a standard Fan Mail Friday because I don't want to do three live streams in, in one week. I try to do one per week. I know some people like the um, regular Fan Mail Fridays where I just do a video because they're shorter. Hey, we got a third autograph, Bill Madlock. Wait, I'm pretty sure that's our, is that our third? Wow. Was that a third one? I can't, I can't remember. I'm getting so confused now. That's really awesome. Bill Madlock from the Pirates. That's going to Linda W. Congratulations, Linda. Bill Madlock. Check out the back. There's his stats. Has his career stats there all the way up through 1987. Nice autograph. Bill Madlock. Not a Hall of Fame or anything, but really good player back in his time. Not to be confused with John Matlack. Yep, that's right. There's Benny the Jet Rodriguez. Steven Piscotti. Pretty decent player. Always seem to skip him. I want to give him a little bit of love every now and then. Linda the Legend hits again. Bryce Harper, Rookie History, 2012. Alan Trammell is super awesome. Haven't met Trammell in person yet, but that is pretty cool that he's awesome. Would love to get an Alan Trammell uh, in-person autograph one of these days. I've been close to getting Mark McGuire's autographs a couple of times, but always come up short. At the end of batting practice, Mark McGuire will sign for fans, but he only signs a certain amount. And he has people toss him balls um, and he just signs them and tosses them back. And I literally got there like three seconds too late. Like I was like next up. And then he would like disappear in the dugout. I was in Cleveland. Yeah, I did meet Denny McLean. Gave me, um, gave me some stories. Denny McLean's definitely a character. All right, next box. I think this is box number five, I want to say. Yeah, box number five is the halfway point. We got eight autographs so far. So I guess that we only did have two autographs in that last box. I just lost my way. April, how's it going? Thank you for watching. Can you do super break, says Micah. I'll do a super break, which is just when I open all the packs after I get two hits. I know that you got baseball practice, but I don't want to rush the break for the people that bought into it, you know. Juan Soto, Edgar Martinez, Hall of Famer. Robert B., how's it going? Steven, one of these days, I'm sure I'll meet you at a baseball game somewhere. Congratulations, Max Power. Danny McLean is a senile old man, says my brother. That's right, my brother was there. We met him, where was that, Monroeville? I'm not here to correct spelling. Ken Maka, yeah, he is a nice guy. He's actually from Murraysville, Pennsylvania, not too far away from here. I went to one of his baseball camps when I was like 13 or 14, and Ken Maka instructed me, former manager of the Oakland Athletics. Uh, it's, uh, Matt M says, you see Pujols getting close to 2,000 RBIs, passing Gehrig and Bonds. Yeah, Pujols has uh, had a nice career, definitely a Hall of Famer. This one might be an autograph, or it's just going to be a Kevin Pillar purple out of 175. Eric went to Dunham Sports and bought all the remaining 2017 Tufts update packs. It sounds like something I would do. There is uh, Tommy Timmons. 
Do you think you'll go to Minute Maid Park this year? Maybe. It all depends. I know the Pirates are there this year. I've been to Minute Maid Park a few times already. And I do like it a lot. I would rank it in my top five. Wouldn't it be sweet to get a Topps Rookie History Mike Trout autograph? Because it's possible because there's a case hit Rookie History autograph card in here. One of these cards is going to be autographed. But it's not this one. 2011 Topps Update. That would be pretty sick. No autograph there. Pujols is done. Yeah, Pujols, um, he doesn't have much left, that's for sure. He might end up being a platoon player with Justin Bohr at first base and also platooning with Shoyo Otani at DH. And um, I don't know. They're paying him so much money, though. They'd be better. They might be better off for the team just to um, cut him, but that, that's a big contract to say goodbye to. We have our hit. Felix. Felix Mion. This guy is, just that he played for the Mets. And he's got a very large mustache. Um, let's check him out. Felix Mion, 279 career hitter. Not too bad. Not much power. Um, interesting. Let's go into our Mets owner, Joseph B. Congratulations, Joseph. Hopefully you know who Felix Mion is. Nice uh, mustache there. So that was our first auto. We got one more coming out of this box. I'm not. I was just trying to look for uh, something positive in the Felix Mion card. DC says that psyched me out hard. All I saw was AN and thought it was the Nolan Ryan. Yeah, that would have been awesome. Nolan Ryan would probably be the case hit. Maybe 1968 tops rookie history, Nolan Ryan. That'd be pretty sick. Yep, the Mets owner will definitely enjoy it. That's all that matters. Darren is back. The babies are sleeping. That's always a challenging part of every night. In fact, I think uh, our four-year-old is up right now. I just heard her talking. That would be a monster hit. Nolan Ryan, 1968 tops. I did pull a 1960 tops uh, Nolan Ryan. 1960 design out of tops archives. That was pretty awesome. Numbered uh, out of three. Yeah, I hope Tom A is doing well in that ER. No, I haven't, uh, Davis. Haven't heard of that. Chipper Jones. That'd be nice to get a nice Chipper Jones rookie history autograph. Didn't happen in that pack, though. Sandlot 2 is the worst movie ever made. I don't think I ever saw that one. That might have been, what, straight to DVD? I also never heard of Felix Milan, but, or Mian. He probably was not playing when I was alive. Let me see. He retired in 77 was his last year or so. Yep, he was gone before I was even born. Do I like Chipper Jones? Yep, Chipper Jones is pretty nice. I know Mets fans don't like Chipper Jones. Chipper Jones killed the Mets. Timmy Timmons. Should have an autograph coming out of one of these two packs, I think. <sighs> Let 
Micah says it's about 404. And Phil Garner, old scrap iron from the Pirates. That's our, another hit for Linda. Congratulations, Linda. You got Bill Madlock, and now you got Phil Garner. Not too bad. Phil Garner. Um, last time I heard of Phil Garner, he was uh, a manager for a little while there. What was he, manager of the uh, Brewers for a bit, I think? Phil Garner, another all mustache, all American, says Brad. And our last pack, Robin Yount, without the mustache, Robin Yount, and Eric Dames. All right, so that's five boxes down. We're halfway through, more than halfway through, because we're starting our sixth box. Let's get this cut open here. Yep, congratulations, Linda, on your second hit. Linda must have a pretty extensive autograph collection. She definitely always has really good hits. Her and uh, also her husband, Bob. They're a, t they're a team. Linda's name's on the eBay account, though, so I always just use her name, Linda and Bob. You never know. One of them might win the, or they're a team, so they might win the uh, Patreon giveaway. Next box. Oh, I hear a kid talking. It sounds like... Elsa, is that you? Elsa, you awake? Yep. Tebow can't hit a breaking ball, just like Pedro Serrano. Oh, I thought maybe the Ichiro... Matt M., I'm not sure exactly if you um, are or not. If you are signed up on Patreon, you definitely should be there. My wife is typing all of the names up. Um, every dollar you spend on Patreon or pledged is a uh, an entry. So, like, if you're in the $15 club, you have your name in there 15 times. There's a Kenny De Nunez. Jabs, uh, you should call your fans the Jabbers. I don't know if that would stick or not. $15 too, so you'd be in there 15 times. I think next month I'll do, I don't know, maybe a box of um, 2019 Donruss or 2019 Tops. I'll do one of the uh, up-to-date boxes. I've just been sitting on that 2015 box for a while. There we go. We got a super chat from... SoCal box breaks for five dollars. It says your channel got me back into cards, so I started my own. Just got my first video up early this week. Keep up the amazing work. So everyone, click on that five dollars super chat and click go to channel and give SoCal box breaks a sub. It's another new baseball card channel. Just got their first video up this week. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. So almost thought that was an autograph there for a second, but it's not. I would have been sick if it was. Johnny Bench out of 25. Blue um, border parallel. Wish that was a real autograph, but you can tell clearly it's not. That would have been the best hit in the box. All right. Some people are saying they subbed to SoCal. Thank you very much for supporting those that support me. Really appreciate it. Next, Matthew, just got back from the doctor and you're having a girl. Congratulations. What the heck happened here? Congratulations. Um, what, this card is like, the corner is trashed on this card. What the heck happened to that? It's like in the middle of the pack too. That must have happened at the factory. That's really weird. Middle of the pack, bent card. How does that even happen? Well, luckily it's not the autograph. It's just... Um, a freaking Mike Moustakis. What about the Jabalites? The Jabalites? Jabbernators? Raymond, um, the best way to find my brother's um, box breaks is just to go to his channel, and he's got a whole video about it. If you look in the description on his video, um, he has a link to his breaks. Yeah, Tom, hey, how'd, the, uh, how'd it go with the um, ER? I'm glad that you're back. That wasn't too long of a ER visit. I know sometimes ER visits take a long time. 
Hoping uh, everything is back to normal. Upper respiratory virus. That's not. Hopefully they uh, gave you some stuff for it to uh, help clear that up. Frickin' Mike Moustakis, says Matt M. You'll ever forgot, you'll ever, forever call him that. Clint Fraser, rookie card, Nolan Ryan. Do I like Panini or Topps better? They're both not bad. I prefer Topps. There's a $2 super chat from Paul. Thank you very much, Paul. Everyone click on Paul's channel and check him out and give him a sub. Thank you very much. Very nice of you. Let's see if that $2 super chat will bring us an autograph. This is not an autograph. It's just a printed one, but it's out of 175. All right, Micah, good luck at your practice. You can check out the uh, end of the stream when you get back and see if you won the boom box. There's our Squints Paladorius. Yeah, Donruss definitely has more hits, that's for sure. I like Topps' high-end stuff a lot. The, like, Topps signature series is really, really nice. Uh, expo spots in this break? No. Uh, what I will do with any Expo cards, those just go to the Nationals owner. So, like, uh, if we pull a Tim Raines or whatever, Gary Carter... Andre Dawson and their Expos Uni. That's going to go to the Nationals owner. Eric says, uh, shoot me an email through your Patreon. Well, Eric, if, you, uh, are sub if you're a Patreon patron, you should get a notification when I post. I always post them on Patreon first, and I put the links there. So just keep an eye out for that. I'm not sure if you can like set set it for email alerts for every time I post. I think that's what most people do, because it's literally as soon as I post it on Patreon, um, teams start flying off the board. Like within the first five minutes, it's like, you know, the eBay app on my phone is just going crazy. So I'm pretty sure people get there. We go. That's a case hit. John Smoltz autograph. That's kind of weird because I got the exact same case hit in the other case that I did of. Um, Tops Archives. So Tops Rookie History, you get one of these per case. So out of all 10 boxes, there's only one Rookie History card. That's a Hall of Famer right there. Very nice. So that's going to our Braves owner, which is Jared D. Jared, congratulations. Happy for you, man. John Smoltz, Hall of Famer, 1989 Tops. On card auto. It's out of 150. Only 150 of these made. And it's a John Smoltz. I'm sure Matt M likes that one. Congratulations, Jared. John Smoltz, there it is. That's our case hit. That's what I've been waiting for. It's one of the main reasons I wanted to go back and do top tabs again and try to uh, find an awesome rookie history autograph. I'm glad it was a Hall of Famer. I think that, is that our second autograph? I can't remember. Weak smolch stash, yeah. That was before he grew his uh, man facial hair, I guess. Dave Winfield, rookie card. That would have been a nice one. Juan Soto, rookie again. Gary Carter, Hall of Famer. Um, no, I haven't announced the winner yet. We have... Four more boxes, and then we'll be done, and I will announce the winner of the uh, boom box. You'll get all the cards that I pulled out of the boom box from this week. And also, um, get that Andrew Benintendi rookie card in there, which Joe iPhone said is like a $100 card. Autographed purple parallel rookie card, pretty nice. All you have to do is subscribe. And leave a comment. I don't know if you can hear my four-year-old singing No More Monkeys Jumping on the Bed. Oh, we got another hit. Hector Lopez. 
Wow. That is a very, very nice one, Hez. Going way back to the late 50s for this. Check it out. Hector Lopez, there's his batting record there. Uh, looks like he had a little bit of power, 269 career hitter. It's a pretty cool one. Going to our Yankees owner, which is James S. Congratulations, James. I'm kind of embarrassed, but I've never heard of Hector Lopez before, but of course I wasn't alive in the 50s. Um, if he played for the Yankees, though, I feel like I should have heard of him. Looks like he was kind of like a bench player, part-time player, platoon player. Never had really any really great seasons, but got a little old school there. Yeah, Hector Lopez. Chet went to school with a Hector Lopez. It's interesting. Last pack. And that's it for that box. So four boxes left to go of archives. I'll get them all out here. One, two, three, and four. Get all these over here so I don't have to keep bending down. I still have that herniated disc in my back. It's probably gonna take a few weeks to heal. So try not to do too much bending. You went to school with Javi Lopez as well. That's pretty awesome. If they were the same as the baseball players. Let's pull out the packs here. IB Mr. E says Mrs. Jabs needs to open a pack when she comes back. Yep, once she's done with my... Um, Typing up all my Patreon patrons. I'll have her do that. You might need a break, though. I need a break. My four-year-old's still singing up there. Elsa, what are you doing? Is she singing? She must be, like, in the hallway upstairs because it sounds like She's like right above me. Elsa, you want to come sing for the camera? Now she got quiet. Camera shy. That might be a ghost. Elsa, what are you doing? You're a good singer. Hey, Elsa, you want to sing a song? I'm sleepy. You're getting sleepy? Elsa, you want to say hi to everyone on the camera? Hi. Say hi. hi. Say hi, YouTube. Okay, be nervous and shy. You are my, my only Benny the Jet Rodriguez. Next pack. There's a Mike Trout. I was really hoping we would get this um, autograph, but it's not going to happen. All right, in our next pack, we have nothing really going on right there. We have a $2 super chat from Kerbo underscore. It says, love the videos, Jabs. NL Central is looking scary. Thank you very much, Kerbo. I appreciate that. Um, let her sing. Elsa, you do the singing. Turbo, thank you very much. And the NL Central is going to be a very competitive division for sure. If you ever were there when I come to events, it's what I do, Eric. I stop 
Kelsey and they fell on the gas. Whoa! Ozzy Smith! Rookie history! We got two case hits. Elsa with the good luck. Thank you. 1979 Tops. Ozzy Smith rookie card. Autographed on card auto. Very, very nice. There it is. I was not expecting that. Not expecting that at all. I thought we were done with the hits. I thought the John Smoltz was the case hit because it was the rookie history. Hall of Famer John Smoltz. I thought we were done. We'll probably pull some more like Dave Roberts and Bill Matlock and players that, you know, are okay. But, wow. Ozzy Smith. Let's check this card out. And it's not, like, real off-center. Every time I see this card, it's like half the card is cut off. Uh, 1979 is so notorious for being, like, all off-center. Really, really nice. That is my favorite card so far. I'll check out the back. It is numbered out of 99. You've just received a Topps Rookie History autograph card. Ozzy Smith. Really nice. That one is going to our Padres owner. Everyone remembers him for being a Cardinal, but he came up on the Padres. Who picked the Padres? Moses K. Nice choice. Moses K is going to get this one. Very, very nice. I'll put that in my hit pile. That is the best hit by far. Slightly edging out Smoltzy. Thank you, Kerbo. Maybe it was your super chat that helped put us over the edge there. And now we're back into the box hunting for more. Congratulations, Moses. Chet said his mom used to have a huge crush on Ozzy. Interesting. There you go, Moses. Congratulations. You never know when we're going to get a big hit like that. I was not expecting that. Baseball card bonding. My son never stops talking. Then in our YouTube videos, he's dead silent. That's pretty funny. He must just be um, camera shy. Holy Moses is right. Let's go for three of those rookie history. Uh, that would be pretty sweet. That is a nice set there, the rookie history set. That is a nice little set. You get one of those per case on average, but we locked out and got two in our case. Seven teams left in my brother's break. If it sells out, I will make a cameo and drive over to his house. He lives about 15 minutes away, and I will um, help him out. Might take turns doing the boxes or whatever he wants to do. It's his break, so... Do I have any 2004 Heritage cards? Raymond, I do. Somewhere out in my garage. Um, I have a mil literally a million cards in my garage, and I know that I have a bunch of cards from the early 2000s. So they're out there somewhere. Let's show you a Tawny Rookie card, 1993 design. My brother has a few spots left. If you're in it, I will go over there to his house and assist him in the break. Wendy Peppercorn again. And also, my brother said, if it sells out, he's giving away a Tony Gwynn 1983 rookie card, a Barry Bonds rookie card, and also a pretty good one here, Eddie Murray rookie card. We have another autograph, Brad Radke. Brad Radke had some good seasons with the Twins. It's not number anything. Pretty cool. Brad Racky going to Twins owner Justin S. Put that in the hit pile. Another okay one. But yeah, my brother's also giving away a 1978 Topps rookie card of Eddie Murray. Eddie Murray. That's the best one out of the three of those, in my opinion. Um, and all you have to do is uh, to be eligible to win that on my brother's channel is simply buy into the break. So, like, if you bought a team, that's one entry. So there'll be, I think, 26 participants or 26 possible spots. 
So really, if you buy a spot, you have like a one in, what is it, one in three chance roughly of winning an Eddie Murray. Whoops, just literally stabbed myself. That wasn't good. All right, three boxes left. Let's see if we can find another big hit. The Aussie Smith was really awesome. I got my blood going. Take out these packs here. One, two, three, four stacks. All right, back to not Chronicles. Back to archives. Rookie history, Clayton Kershaw. That would be nice if that was an autograph. Um, Davis asked if I'm ball hawking with Zach Campbell this year. I would imagine I will be. Every year I seem to run across Zach like three to six times per season. Usually he comes to PNC Park once or twice. And then I typically run into him on the road too from time to time. Like, um, sometimes I'll randomly meet it, just run across him in, like, Washington, D.C. or Cleveland. I'm trying to think where else I've seen him at. Baltimore. New York. Yankee Stadium. How do you contact me offline? Um, the best email is uh, the Jabs fam, all one word. Orlando Merced, um, if I was 12 years old, I'd be super pumped about this one. Orlando Merced was a uh, pretty decent leadoff hitter for the Buccos back in the early 90s. Going to our, wow, another hit. Linda W., congratulations. Out of 99, Orlando Merced, three Pirates autographs so far. But anyway, my email is thejabsfam, T-H-E-J-A-B-S-F-A-M, all one, all one word, at Gmail. I check that a little more often than my Yahoo one, which just gets flooded with um, PayPal receipts. Lucky Linda with three hits. AJ says he feels bad. What's wrong, AJ? Why do you feel bad? Hopefully um, we can cheer you up with some hits. Maybe you'll win the boom box. Homer Bush. I remember that guy, Homer Bush. Wasn't he a, like a Padres first-round pick? Another draft bust. Whoops. Must be tired. I just dropped some cards. Kluber. JP Crawford. Ozzy was the hit of the night. Kerbo says, give the boob box to me. That's why I have to do the uh, raffle to make sure it's fair. Hummer Bush pitched for the Reds? You sure you're not thinking of Hummer Bailey? Boom box coming up soon. Corn says, how do you buy into the breaks? I put them for sale on eBay on Saturdays. How many packs do you think you open a year? Wow, that's a good question. Well, uh, tonight with hair, with uh, archives, there's 24 packs, 240 packs in archives. And um, so tonight I will have done 580 packs all together. Where do I think Kimbrel's going? I literally could not tell you. Probably not going to be the Braves because they don't want to give up a, uh, a draft pick to sign him. Wow, another Orlando Merced? Two in the same box. Literally, these were in the same box because the last hit was Orlando Merced also. This one's not even numbered. Linda with four Pirates cards. Um, I really hate it when we get doubles of autographs. Uh, AJ says, my mom told me, do you need anything? And I said, I need to watch Jazz Family. She said, okay, if it comforts you. And I said, yes, it will comfort me. 
and she brought me my tablet and I started watching. So hopefully you're feeling better now, um, AJ player. Hopefully uh, the break can cheer you up a little bit, take your mind off of whatever is troubling you. All right, next uh, pack. Well, we already got the Mercedes. Let's do a quick super rip here of the rest of these. There's two Mercedes. Let's just rip down the rest of the um, stack here. Jose leaned auto. I've never seen a Jose leaned auto. That'd be pretty weird. Aaron, my brother said he's doing his break at 7 p.m. tomorrow, whether it sells out or not. I think he said there's seven spots left. All right, here we go. We already got our autograph, so this is most likely just base cards. Maybe we'll get some numbered cards in here. There's a Jackie Bradley numbered card out of uh, 175. 7 p.m. tomorrow for my brother's break. A few spots left. If it sells out, I will go over there to his house and assist him, and I will be the assistant for once and not the, uh, the head breaker guy. Benny the Jet. And that is it for that box. Jose Lean did cost the Pirates a trip to the World Series because he couldn't field a ground ball. His error led to the uh, Braves getting a base runner and made us lose. Two boxes left. Where do I think Dallas Keuchel's going? I don't know. I could see him maybe going to the Phillies. Even though the Phillies have spent a ton of money. I feel like Keuchel's price might start to fall pretty soon. Because, I mean, opening day is only two weeks away. All right, next box. Let me take these packs out. Jared just brought bought the Royals for my brother's massive break. That's a pretty good pick. We get some George Bretts and Bo Jacksons in there. This would be pretty fun. Who is my favorite Cardinals player ever? Favorite Cardinals player ever. I'm gonna have to say Mark McGuire. Back when he was with the Cardinals, hitting all those dingers. Kyle Ripken, that would have been a nice one to get a Kyle Ripken rookie history autograph. I mean, it looks like it's autographed, but that's just part of the card. Why not freeze? Huh? Freeze David Freeze? I never really like liked David Freeze that much. Mark McGuire. The, the hero back in the uh, late 90s. Mark Bellhorn, I remember him. Lou Brock. Lou Brock was a little bit before my time. Matt M's going to go with Big Mac too. Yep, good choice. I like Ozzy Smith, but... um. Michael says David Freeze sucks. Rob Nen, there's another one. Rob Nen, multiple time All Star, had a good career. Uh, spent time with the Giants, Marlins. Um, that's what he's best known for. A little bit of time on. That's that's it. Rangers. That was the one I was missing. Played very shortly on the Rangers, but played most of his career with the Marlins and Giants. And you can check out those save titles. Pretty big save titles. Blew out his arm after the 2 season, unfortunately, and uh, never made it back. I can't remember if it was an arm or a shoulder that ruined his career, but you saw in his last season he had a 220 earned run average and had 43 saves. Rob Nen. Very, very good reliever. Yeah, that break tomorrow on my brother's channel. 20 boxes, you think tonight, I did 20 boxes tonight, and um, I started at 740, there's a nice card, 87 tops, probably be done around, I don't know, 11, so yeah, you're looking at about a three hour break for my brother's channel tomorrow, depending on how fast you want to rip through the cards, 
how many stories you want to tell about the players and stuff. Your college roommate did uh, the photography for Rob Nen's wedding. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the mixer breaks should be fun. probably share some stories about um, the old days of collecting collecting cards with my brother going to discount sports cards and stuff like that Michael my brother's channel is the past is alive I usually link it in my descriptions whenever he appears in one of my videos or you can just type in the past is alive and it'll come up. he's got like 2200 subs oh I hate it when these packs open like that Hey, we got an autograph for John. It is a Bertram Grover Weeks autograph uh, from the Sandlot. You usually get about one Sandlot autograph per case, and there we go. Bertram Grover Weeks, 1962 Tops design. There's the back of it. Not sure what, that's not one of the main characters of the Sandlot, but still it might be worth something. Put that in the hit pile. Congratulations, John. I had a feeling we, I, I had a feeling we'd get one, because it seems like most cases that I've watched, they always get at least one Sandlot Auto. I was hoping it was going to be like a Wendy Peppercorn. I think that's the short print one. Another uh, John Smoltz there. His name is uh, Bert Bertram Grover Weeks. I don't remember him. He must have been like, I don't know, a bench player. There's Peppercorn. Is Hercules still alive, the dog? Probably not. That'd be a pretty old dog. I thought Squints married Wendy. I can't remember. It's been a long time since I saw that movie. can't remember exactly who he was, Zach. Yep, that's what I thought, Dave. Squints. The character that kissed Wendy Peppercorn. They're making a TV show with the original cast. That'll be interesting. I can't remember if we got one or two out of this box. I think we got two. I think it was a Nen and a, um, a quick super rip here of these last five packs. The week's auto is about 25 to 30 bucks, according to Raymond. Okay, thanks for the research. Sounds about right. Th those uh, Sandlot cards go for a pretty good penny and the uh, main characters are worth usually about 75 or so. Okay, let's see here. This is um, just the rest of the stack. We already got our two autographs out of there. Hunter Renfro, blue, out of 25. 25 of 25. Squints was out here at the Flying Squirrels game, says Chet. That's pretty cool. I wonder what he looks like now. Probably completely different. These kid actors look really different to me once they grow up. Walker Bueller, rookie card, Freddie Freeman. Down to one pack, and then we will do the boombox giveaway. Last box. Here's our packs. Benjamin. No, you know what, Benjamin? I re recognize your name. You sent me a box. You're from Texas. Uh, you sent me a box that had no postage on it. I do remember that. It was really weird. It had no postage on it at all, and they, they wouldn't give it to me unless I paid them. I think they wanted $21. So I said to... Uh, send it back or try to uh, contact your post office and see if um, they could figure out what happened. 
because literally a, a brown box showed up with no postage on it at all, like no um, printout with the um, barcode in the corner or anything. So they would not give me the package. So I hope that you get it back or you can maybe like, uh, I don't know if you have like a receipt, but your package is somewhere out there in limbo. I don't know if it's sent back to your post office or not, but really appreciate you sending that package. It's, I mean, I doubt that you just tossed it in a mailbox and it got the whole way up here to me. I'd imagine that probably what happened is that you, the postage probably just peeled off and kind of stunk that they wouldn't give it to me. But yep, yeah, I do remember that. Oh, Jack Flaherty autograph card. There we go. Jack Flaherty, 1993 Topps Design rookie card. Not It is numbered out of 99. That's a nice one. That one's going to our Cardinals owner, which is Stephen M. Congratulations, Stephen. One more autograph left. Noah says Le'Veon Bell with the Jets. Yeah, I heard that. I don't know much about Le'Veon Bell or football, but I did hear that. That's been like Pittsburgh news around here. Flaherty is a good young arm. We'll see how he does this year. I almost drafted him in the fantasy league, but I skipped over him. I think it was between him and Trevor Bauer. I went with Bauer. But Flaherty's likely going to have a good season. Tom says there's something special this Fan Mail Friday coming. Can't wait. Thank you very much, Tom. Tom always sends great stuff. Great guy. And Zach says Flaherty's a good kid and signs autos. That's nice to hear. Hopefully he doesn't get corrupted by some of the Cardinals that are a little bit less than friendly. How many boxes do we have left? We have zero boxes left. We just have these like 12 to 15 packs left. And then we'll be done. And then I can do the um, raffle for the... Um, Boom box. Here's our last hit. That looks like it's going to be Mike Stanton. Mike Stanton, the uh, former setup man, along with Jeff Nelson, setting up Mariano Rivera for the Yankees. That's what I'm thinking. I see the left hand there. That's what gives it away to me. Also, the, the last couple letters there. And we have a 252 Super Chat from Jed Lockett. Uh, thank you for the uh, $2.52, Jed. It says, thanks for the inspiration. You went over 200 subs. So let's put him up over, I don't know, 225 or so. Go check out Jed Locke's channel. Thank you very much. Let's see if that is indeed, yep, Mike Stanton. You might remember John Carlo Stanton came up and was named as Mike Stanton. Then he changed his name to John Carlo or went back to his original name, John Carlo. And that should be our final hit. That one's going to James S. And um, so that's our two. So we will super rip the rest of these. Matt M's almost halfway to 500. You're really growing quickly. Yep, boombox time is right around the corner. I'm going to have to get my laptop back, though. My wife is still using my laptop. We'll have to do it a different way because she's been typing like literally the entire break, people's names. For like every, uh, like if you're a $7 Patreon patron, she has to uh, put your name in seven times. I told her just to type the name once and then do a fill down. I don't know. Maybe I think next time I'll just like do tiers and like choose one winner from each tier. I think that's probably what I'll do. I'm just put all your names in there once. Like if you're like, say you're on the $7, I'll type in all like, I don't know, 60 people that are on the $7 tier and I'll pull one winner. And then I'll put that one winner in there seven times. And I'll do the same thing for each tier. Like I'll take all the $15 people, get one winner and then put all of them in uh, 15 times. So their odds are still basically the same. 
That might save times because my wife has literally been, literally been typing since 740. Uh, this one's out of 99. I hope she gets it done. Otherwise, I might have to push it back to the next live stream. Or I might have to do a special... I wonder if I could do a special Patreon-only live stream where it's like a closed live stream. To own... She just said something from far away. I don't know. Last page. Okay. All right. We have a Hercules, 1962. Rugi, Rugnet Odor. Yasiel Puig. I took Yasiel Puig with my third pick in the fantasy draft. Thinking he's going to hit a lot of dingers. The Reds said he's going to be a regular and not have to share time. Reds outfield is really full. Jesse Winker out there with Scott Shevler, Yasiel Puig, uh, Matt Kemp. Um, Nick Senzel. That's going to be a really crowded outfield. Looks like Matt Kemp might end up having to go to the bench. We will see. Yeah, Trot was my first pick. And that is going to conclude the baseball card part of the break. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I will um, go through the hits now. And dear someone says that Patreon has live streaming capabilities. Yeah, whenever I do a giveaway, I definitely always want to do it live. Um, that's one thing I always try to do because, you know, if it's not live, there's always like, you know, whoever does it could have taken like five takes until they got a winner that they wanted or whatever. So I want to make sure that you guys know that I would not do that. Uh, that's why I always do it live. Leave no doubt. All right. Here are all of our hits from this um, break of archives. We had Mike Stanton, Jack Flaherty. Then we had... Grover Weeks, Bertram Grover Weeks, if you just got here. Rob Nen. Orlando Merced, we got two of these in the same box. We had lots of Pirates autos for Linda. Uh, then we had Brad Radke. And then this was the hit of the night. Ozzy Smith, 1979 Tops rookie card, rookie history autographed. Very nice card. Love this one. Then we had a nice Hector Lopez card from back in, what was this, like 59? And then a John Smoltz autographed card, rookie history. I thought this was the case hit at first, and then we got the Ozzie Smith after that. Um, rookie history, there's supposed to be one of these per case, and we got two autographed ones per case, which is pr pretty awesome. Phil Garner, uh, Felix Mian with the mustache, pretty interesting guy. Then we had Bill Mavlock, Shannon Stewart, purple border. Charles Johnson with the nice uh, teal border. Dave Roberts, Tom Browning, 1990 Tops design. A Willie Wilson, 79 Tops design. That Benjamin Black said he has the complete 79 Tops set. That's pretty awesome. Another Dave Roberts. And then our first hit of the night was Ahmed Rosario. Well, I should say our first hit out of um, Tops archives. So now it's time to give away the boom box. There's only one problem. I don't have my computer because my wife is still using it. And I'm going to use my laptop, and I'm going to take the link from the Boombox video and put it into a website and pick a random commenter to win. So I'm going to have to uh, turn the entertainment over to one of you guys while I go track down my laptop. Um, I don't know. One of you can take it away and uh, do a little chat. i got to go find my laptop. I'll be back in, um, I don't know. Hopefully soon. Let's see if I can find that laptop. My wife is in my office on it.
be interesting to see how many people are still here. I've been gone for a few minutes. They can see you. Da, da, da. They can see me walking by. And the reflection of the island. You didn't realize that? No, I didn't. You can see it on the island. Alright, so I'm back. With my computer here. Let me just settle back in here. This is for the boom box. Um, I don't know how much all those cards are worth. Maybe around, I don't know, 100 bucks. So those cards came out to be worth with that Andrew Benatendi uh, autographed rookie card and also an Aaron Judge rookie card in there. Some pretty nice stuff. I will throw all those cards in team bags for you and send them your way if you are the winner. So what I've done was, um, let me just get this uh, on screen here so you can see. I went to, where was it? I went to my video here, which, um, I don't know which one it was. New for March. This bad boy and I took the, by the way, my um, laptop's being really annoying. It has this like, the cursor has all these extra lines because at school I bugged my smart board um, and I guess I just shut my computer so it's like all messed up. Sometimes that happens when I do that with my smart board. So you have to ignore that. It's a little bit of a display issue. It'll go away once I plug my smart board back in and then unplug it correctly. But anyway, I took this and I copied this link and then I stuck it in here. And we're gonna pick our winner right now. Uh, here we go says uh, enter YouTube URL load comments here we go 1902 total comments there's 1700 unique users so you have a 1 in 1,700 chance at winning those cards. A lot of interest in those cards. Uh, thank you so much for everyone um, that was interested. Since you guys seem to be pretty interested in that, I think rather than giving boxes away once a month, maybe I'll start doing it like, every, like doing just random giveaways like every now and then, like every week or whatever. Um, but anyway, here we go. Randomly pick the winner. The winner of the boom box. And by the way, you will have to email me your address, um, and then I will subscribe to you. And I, I also need like a comment with your email address. Uh, you don't have to send me the whole thing, but if your email address is like cool dude, you can just like cool dude at Yahoo or whatever. You can just write C O O L then dot 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 at Yahoo, and I'll know it's you. Because I've had people try to steal these before um, by faking their identity and saying, oh, it's me, it's, um, I won this. So here we go. The winner is Bradley Zantessen. Bradley, congratulations. I don't know if you're in the live stream right now, but you are the winner. Um, I should probably write your name down. Um, I don't know if my wife can hear me, but I need a pen. I'm probably gonna pick a runner up just in case Bradley is not around to claim this. I'll probably give you 48 hours. I'll try to get into contact with you. Bradley Zantessen is our winner. Really like to write that down. Can I have a pen? Yeah, Sharpie's fine. Congratulations, Bradley. So you're our first place. We're gonna do a runner up. Sometimes when I do these giveaways and somebody wins, like I can't get them to claim the prize. It's like kind of weird. Um, so there's some times where I've had prizes won and people just never claim them. Even when I'm like, hey, guess what? You need to go watch the uh, giveaway. And they never step up and claim it. All right, so our second place winner, winner if you're wondering if Bradley just disappears or whatever, second place runner-up is going to be PewDiePie. PewDiePie H with his um, 88 million subs. PewDiePie, thanks for... Um, taking a break from making videos and uh, leaving a comment there, PewDiePie H. Obviously not the real PewDiePie with the uh, most subs in YouTube history. You are the first. If Bradley doesn't claim it, then I'll go to PewDiePie and uh, we'll give away that boom box. I'll do that every, um, 
I'll do that every boom box I get. I'll give it away to you guys. So the last thing I have to do is pick a winner of one of those box of Donruss cards for my Patreon um, patrons. And I'm gonna do that here in a second. Um, so first of all, my brother is having a break tomorrow. If the break sells out, I'll go over to his uh, house to cameo and um, help out with the uh, break. So what I'm gonna do now is, um, I don't know, I'm gonna have to get a r another random comment picker up here. I gotta use something different for this because this isn't comments. So I think I did random.org last time and I have to copy and paste all of the names that my wife has been typing up for the last like three or four hours. Gotta do random.org and I have to, I think this is what I used last time. Random name picker. There's one website out there where I can just... Definitely don't want to do random name picker class tools because that would be a wheel with so many spaces on it that it would be ridiculous. Here we go. Random name picker. This is good. Edit, paste. Wow, it's taking a long time. It's a lot of names. Um... It's just like, I hope it doesn't lock up. Whoa, this is... All right. Um, got it all set to go here. Let me just show you real quick. Whoops, just knocked over a couple cards. You can see I'm using this right now. All the names are in there. Um... I guess I'll go like this. Uh, I just had my wife type every like every dollar that someone um, puts in. Basically, their name is in there for every one dollar that they put in there. So boom, 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 all the names. Some people are only in there like seven times. Some people are in there three times. Some people are in there hundred times. Here we go. So the winner is pick a random name. The winner of the uh, Don Russ box from Patreon is going to be Robert. You know who that is, guys? Robert Whiteley. That is, that's Linda, guys. Linda, congratulations. You have won a, an un unopened sealed box of Don Russ uh, 2015 or 2016. I'm going to have to flip a coin and see which one you get. But really appreciate your support, Linda. And also um, Robert, which is Bob. Uh, congratulations. Linda was, again, a big winner tonight with tons of Pirates autographs. Uh, best card we got tonight, I think, was the Ozzy Smith um, rookie card. Tomorrow, my brother's doing a break, a 20-box break of uh, cards from the 80s and uh, 90s, like wax boxes, unopened wax boxes, 20 of them. And he's selling them right now. He's got a few spots left. If it sells out, I said I would uh, go and uh, over to his house tomorrow and assist him in the break. Um, he's doing it regardless if it sells out. The only difference is if it doesn't sell out, I'm not going to be there. But if it does sell out, I'll be there. I think he said, how many spots are left? My brother's The Past is Alive. He's got uh, 2,200 subs. Um, and he's going to start maybe doing box breaks. He's going to try it out tomorrow. My brother has an extensive knowledge of players and cards from the 80s and 90s, so it could be pretty good. Only one spot left, so it looks like I'm going to have to make plans to be over there tomorrow. Um, I don't know if I'll be there the full three hours, but I'll definitely stop by for at least an hour and uh, assist him and talk to you guys over there and share some memories of our childhood and card collecting. We'll probably tell you lots of stories. So thank you, everyone, for watching. Tomorrow we have Throwback Thursday, 1984 Tops. I'll have to get that ready to go um, so I can upload that. Probably schedule the upload for 9 p.m. tomorrow since I'll probably be at my brother's house. Uh, we have Fan Mail Friday on Friday and Saturday. We have a special baseball card video from Walmart. Um, I can't really call it Walmart Saturdays because that doesn't make any sense. So it's, um, I don't know what I'll call it. It's, it's a baseball card video from Walmart. It's something special. 
and uh, that's on Saturday. Sunday will probably be, I don't know, flea market day, but lots of stuff planned. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I really appreciate all the super chat donations that you guys contributed tonight. Thank you so much for everybody that bought into the breaks. Um, really appreciate that. And by the way, these two silver packs, I'm going to give these away, these extra ones. I'll do that tomorrow in my 1984 Tops Throwback Thursday. What I'll do again is I'll just have you guys simply like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment. And then I'll pick uh, one of you guys in the next live stream. Uh, I think my next live stream will probably be next Wednesday. Super, um, or not super packs, these two silver packs. Um, that'll be the next one. I'll probably just do that all the time. That's pretty easy. Just leave a comment in a video and I'll just, you know, every week or so, I'll give something away and that'll be the uh, easy way to enter. So congratulations to Bradley on winning the boom box. Congratulations to Linda and Robert for winning the Donruss box. And thank you everybody once again. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow.